Okay, how about now? Are we good? Seems like it. Nice. Okay, let's continue, shall we? Uh, so I spent a little time offline uh, updating the train loader. And basically we've got a slightly longer train. Um, it has to go in, uh, in and out in the same direction if it's going to fit in the one of the quarters of our rail blocks. Um... We've got a LTN stop that's going to have a short train deliver whatever this rail block needs. Uh, we're reading from the logistic network. Uh, each signal from that that's greater than zero goes to this red wire. Um, here we have a copy of all of the things that we're putting into the train on these constant combinators. Multiplying that by negative one, and that becomes our requests for uh, LTN. Uh, or maybe I could do like multiply by negative two or something. Um, so we'll double up a bit. We'll see how that goes. But speaking of multiplying by negative two... Uh, we have a little trick going on here whereby our each times negative one uh, arithmetic combinator is actually outputting twice to this uh, decider combinator. Um, that way we get negative two times what's here uh, and negative one times this plus this on the red wire. Um, or rather, we, we've got a positive value for how much stuff is in the logistic network, a negative value for how much stuff we want, how we usually deal with LTN. Um, but then, uh, we're multiplying this by 2 when we're dealing with getting rid of excess stuff. So basically, if we end up having over 600 uh, fast transport belts as opposed to 300 in this logistic network, um, that's going to get summoned to this requester chest. And we're going to have a vanilla train take this away. Uh, back to the mall. Um, I think it might be better to put this up here, actually. It's a bit closer to the storage chests. Um, but yeah, train goes off to build something comes back, uh, usually, or at least some of the time, we're going to have it come back to this drop-off so it completely empties itself. Um, so we know what we're starting with. And then we have, as we did yesterday, uh, very precise but fast loaders for each individual cargo wagon. Oh, and down here we've got um, uh, construction bots. I'll actually just add some more of these. Um, let me just put this in here. Have the train cycle around again. Oh, that's in a buffer chest. Whoops. There we go. So the construction bots go in here. Uh, so that they're going to be put in as a priority and we're putting them in perfectly in sync. So we get exactly 50 for each cargo wagon. Welcome, welcome, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, let's get this thing into our main save, shall we? Uh, and I want it to be not in the same block as the mall, just because whenever we uh, build or deconstruct things, 
like this, uh, the robots from the train like to get involved. So we'll have a separate block for that. I was thinking about putting it uh, vertically on the side of one of these rail blocks, um, but I just don't like aesthetically as much um, the train going north-south. Um, also, I want to have room to put two of these trains in the one rail block. Um, I think that might be convenient. So, let's see. I want it to be close to the mall. Oh, I know. Why don't I put it here? Uh, not here. Here. No, that's going to connect to the same network. Uh, I could move the roboports up the top a bit further up. I'd have to move them up like 14 tiles or something. Would that be okay? Yeah, yeah it would. Hmm. Yeah, and we could eventually put one here as well when that iron mine has been moved out of the way. I think I like this. So it's right next to the mall, um, but not in the same robot network. The only trouble is the robo ports, uh, the charges for the bots are not going to be able to be nice and close. Although, if we really want to, I guess we could have robo ports configured for construction. I don't think the robo... Are the robo ports configured for construction going to be able to act as... Uh, charging stations for the bots that are using it for logistics. Rubber Band Rambo, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think instead of messing around with all of that, we should probably just put our construction trains down here. Uh, nice and close to the mall but not so close that we have to worry about the RoboPort networks overlapping. Alright, so that's going to go there. Uh, now then, we do have a construction train, uh, but I want to get rid of this slash update it. But we can certainly use it to build its new home. Uh, let's go with inactivity... And it should have enough range to build most of this. Uh, whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, yeah, it'll take another trip. Uh, could we maybe... I can't give it a... I can't queue up an order for it to come down here until the rail is actually built. So we'll wait for that to happen, I guess. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, maybe having lots of RoboPort range isn't all it's cracked up to be because they're taking longer to build because of this. But on the other hand, like uh, most of the point of this is I can just fire and forget, um, and not do anything with it again until I hear the notification sound that the train has come back to the mall and is fully loaded. Speaking of which, I did manage to get that circuit to work uh, the way that I wanted to. It wasn't that difficult. I think I was just a bit too tired yesterday. Uh, Alright, let's get our train to move down here. And... Probably gonna have to have it move again. Uh oh. Oh, we have no rail? Alright, screw it. I'll take rail myself. Oh, we do have rail. 
Why were the bots not doing their thing that quickly? Or did I just not see them? They are about... They are a very similar colour to the background on the map here. Okay. Uh, I just want to make room for this train to park itself over here. And then... Uh, it should be able to do all of this. Except for the part where I didn't actually tell it to bring 6x6 six six chests. Uh, let's put some of this in here. And I will make some of these. We'll need a speaker as well. And a few more buffer chests. Or the construction bots. I did have a bit more of a think about ways that I could automatically take out whatever doesn't belong. Um, but again, with the multiple cargo wagons, it's it doesn't really work that well. Alright. So, there should already be... I would have expected to see it by now. Request stack threshold... Oh, how about request threshold one? Just to be sure. Oh, and there's our... Oh, that was the train getting back up here. Uh, yeah, so to get... Uh, to get the programmable speaker to... Uh, make a sound only when the train is loaded up. And just once. Uh, what I did was read the stack sizes from all of these. Uh, once that goes from something to nothing, we want to hear the sound. Game to relax. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so if there's S equals zero, no stack size, then light is on. That means that the train is ready. Uh, if S is greater than zero, output one. And then that goes to, if 1 is greater than 0, output 2. Uh, signal number 1, signal number 2. So this happens one tick after this does. Um, but their outputs on the green wire are connected to the programmable speaker. And the programmable speaker, we could set it to 1 is less than 2 if we want the opposite effect. Uh, but we've got it set to 2 is greater than 1. So, when we go from having a signal to not having a signal, um, we're going to lose the, the signal 1 before we lose the signal 2 on this green wire. Uh, and that's going to make a sound. Do I not have a robobot? Um, okay. So... I don't know why... Oh, what's this? Did... Did you come for, like... Oh, no, I think I see what's happening here. The, this train is trying to take things around in circles. Yeah, yeah, it is. So we need to make... Uh, we need to put these two drop-offs on different virtual networks. Um, I don't think it matters that we've already uh, that we're already using one and two. Uh, one is for finite resources and two is for um, uh, the drop-offs of the f of the finite resources only if they come from an infinite source. So basically, those two stations will not interact, will not have a schedule set. Cavern, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but I think if we use ID 1 and ID 2 for these two, uh, it shouldn't actually cause any problems. Uh... We 
We don't want to use ID2 here, actually, is the only thing. On this side, it should be ID1. Because we do want stone to be able to drop off here. Uh, to be able to be dropped off here from finite mines. Therefore, this one is going to be encoded network ID2. And being a little bit lazy there, I could use different bits, but it's fine. Working from home office, so lurking today. Fantastic. All right, so we should see uh, we should see these short trains stop getting scheduled to bring these things around in circles. Uh, I think we've only got like one short train, literally. So the next thing, the next job, it's probably going to receive, uh, which it's already received actually, is to bring all of this stuff to our new construction train loader. Uh, we want to add another cargo wagon onto this and send it to, what did I call this station? Construction train emptier with the recycle symbol. And then construction train loader with the inserter. And then we're gonna wait for a condition that will never be met because I, I only want this train to leave when we give it an order manually. All right, so off you go to the emptier. And we'll decon all of this stuff. Fantastic. Um, I could have just used four active provider chests along here, but I want to keep the bot trips as short as possible. Also, I just realized we're going to have to seed this with some... Uh, with some... logistic bots, because I didn't set up something to automatically put them there in the first place if there's no bots. Uh... It's not like we'll be making too many of these. Why are... Why are the bots bringing me so much stuff? Oh. Oh, they're my construction bots. Oh, no. Uh, let's take advantage of a big active provider chest. Until we can see our inventory again. Good grief. Why am I requesting this much belt? It's only 200, actually. Yeah, I think it was still the construction bots catching up. Nice construction train. Didn't catch the end of yesterday's stream. Can see you decide to have not one extra cargo, but two. Uh, yes, indeed. Because we've got just enough room. The only downside of this is... It's not a double-header train, so I have to be a little bit careful that I don't... Like, if I send this train to here, it's going to require manual intervention um, to bring it back. Unless it's got enough rail for me to add a, a, a roundabout or something. Um, I think when I do this on Outpost Planets, I'll probably just use... Uh, the same two cargo wagon double header trains that we've been using before. Um, or maybe even just one to keep it simple. But the point is, they will definitely have... Uh, they'll, they'll definitely be double headers. Because I do not want to have to go to an outpost planet uh, to fix a train that I accidentally got stuck in a dead end uh, like this. Um, but yeah, that should basically be it. I almost forgot I came back here for logistic bots. Uh, and we want exactly 50. Uh, 
So that'll prevent bot interference wind from happening. Uh, I don't think we need to read what's in these chests, because we are reading what's in the robot network. So the short train should stop bringing this stuff uh, once we reach our quotas. Um, we actually got extra already. Probably because deliveries were scheduled uh, while the train was already on its way. Also, we really don't need these filters, I think. Okay. How did we end up... Oh, I see what happened here. You know what? Let's just prove it. Uh, that the bots will get placed evenly. Whoops. Uh, that's fine. That's perfect, actually. So, all we're doing to keep the robots in each cargo wagon uh, at 50 each is just making sure that we swing these in sync. And they happen in parallel and first, compared to all of the other stuff we're loading. Cool. So now we've got... Oh, um, I need some more personal robo-ports, because the last cargo wagon doesn't have any. Uh, we actually put 15 in here, which I don't have right now. What about the solar panels? I don't have those either. Let's go get them, and I'll come up I'll come back here and double check that we're receiving everything, which I think we will be, but also... Hmm. Hmm. I could... I could double the requests. I think I was going to do that. So basically, these combinators are up here are a carbon copy of the combinators that tell us what we're putting in the various cargo wagons. And then we're multiplying that by negative one so that we've got enough to fill the train just once. Uh, I think we want to go for double that. And if I'm not mistaken, that will mean... Uh, if we're doing negative two times two, because green wire and red wire output to here... We should get negative four times whatever we're asking for in the train. I can see the negative 900 on the red belt. So... We're going to have to have 900 red belt in this robot network before the system says, there's too much red belt here, let's send it back. Um, and it goes without saying that anything... Like, let's say, an electrolysis plant uh, that we haven't asked for in this block. It's going to be sent back here immediately. So this is this doubles as our whitelist um, for what can stay in this network. Uh, and just like last playthrough, we're just going to use vanilla trains to bring stuff back to the mall when we don't want it. Missing one thing in the block? What are we missing? What are we missing? Oh, as in to build? It is a single requester chest. Uh, for fuel. Oh, did I ask for fuel here? I bet I didn't. Let's go solid, rocket fuel. Um, just make it one stack because this will fill up another three. Or actually, I'll make it a buffer chest just so that the robot network knows how much is here. Oops. So we're just looking for 30 solid rocket fuel. 
uh, and yeah, I haven't added it to the mall yet, but there's going to be at least one vanilla train that is LCL, uh, just one cargo wagon in the middle, um, and uh, it's going to be on a vanilla train schedule, pick up from return to mall, uh, take it back to the mall. And then we're going to need a train stop for that somewhere. It's going to have to sit here most of the time. It's going to have to double as its depot. So I think we'll put it down here. And I'm not convinced I'm going to be needing this anymore. Can I... There we go. And remove the straight rail. Nice. Do you need more signals to separate drop off and trash in the builder train tile? Uh, yeah, I can't really fit it, and we don't really need to. Like, I could put signals here, but uh, the trash train would still be blocking the drop off train. Uh, and there should be very rarely uh, any need for the trash train to come here, but it is nice to have it automated. So it really doesn't matter if this uh, this is all one rail block, uh, like chain signal, uh, signal block up here. Okay, um, so we're going to have a Vanilla train stop. One, two, three, four, five. Right about here. Looks like this one's in the wrong spot. Well, is it though? No, it's not. It just looks a bit different. Partly because of the vanilla train stop. Alright, we are going to be needing a LCL train, some requester chests for uh, solid rocket fuel. That's, that's not solid rocket fuel. Just enough for refilling this entirely as if we need to do that couple of burners, and is this outside of the construction network? No? We don't have burner inserters. That's weird. We have to make... oh, I see the problem. Oh, I forgot I turned these off. I guess it took a while to run out. Okay. Uh, within 30 seconds, that's going to switch over to making probably belts first and then inserters. Um, but that'll be fine. And then uh, we will be needing... Oh, actually, we could definitely use a bulk rail unloader here. Because we're only ever dropping off everything. And once again, we'll put an active provider chest connected to the bulk rail unloader. Um, so this is going to be called... I'm going to make it purple, like the active provider chest color. And it can go to return to mall. Uh, and what do we call this? Uh, all returns, or something. Get that recycle signal. Okay. So we're gonna wait for... Uh, empty cargo. And return to mall is gonna be inactivity. How's the space exploring going? Quite well, thank you. 
Returns desk, manager's office, indeed. Yeah, let's, uh, mole returns. Alright, so that's gonna go here. We'll need some signals down this way. And we'll need some power over here. Oh, and it'll need to be in the robot network. That might help. Do we not have solid rocket fuel? We have 1.8k. Oh, here it comes. Alright, cool. So that is our vanilla return stuff to the mole train. Let's just make sure it works. So anything that does not belong in this robot network, say, I don't think I've requested, I think I have requested steel pumps actually. Uh, sand, coal, bulk rail loaders, bulk rail unloaders, red wire, uh, that'll probably do. And as you can see, it's ended up back up here. Except for the loaders that came back into my inventory. Uh, that goes straight into this train. I guess we don't have to wait for five seconds of inactivity because the bulk rail loader... We're always going to use bulk loaders for this, right? It's always going to be unconditional that we're putting stuff into these trains. So we could probably set this to like one second of inactivity. That should be more than enough. Uh, let's see. Drop off some random stuff that doesn't belong here. And the train should already be on its way, because vanilla trains are quite responsive. They don't have to generate... Sh LTN doesn't have to generate a schedule for them. That was so fast. Yeah, I, I think the one second of inactivity should be more than enough. Not that we can set it to a fraction of a second. Yeah, no. That's fine. Oh. Very, very good. Uh, so now we've got... Now we can build stuff here and not have it uh, interrupted by the train saying, I'm helping. We're still delivering stuff down there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did ask for four times as much stuff as goes into the train. So that makes sense. Um, I haven't yet decided everything I want to put into the train. How much rail is this? Enough to make an entire block. Yeah, that's good. How did we end up with an extra three in there, though? Oh, and I want to double check that the programmable speaker is working. Or the logic for it, rather. Scrum Poly Jr. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I found some of the crafting combinator stuff you did on Factorio School, by the way. It was interesting to grab and take a look at. Fantastic. Glad it helped. Or, I, I presume it helped. I hope so. Alright, so once we see these filters disappear... Uh, we should see this light go on, indicating the train is fully loaded, and we'll hear our notification sound. Oh, the volume is set to zero for some reason. I wonder how that happened. And we should get exactly 250 rail chain signals put in here. Well, it's already on a multiple of five, so that shouldn't be an issue this time, even if our circuit logic wasn't perfect.
And... We're actually waiting on cliff explosives. Uh, okay. We need to get cliff explosives. How do we make cliff explosives? Can we do it in the mall, is what I'm really wondering. Uh, cliff explosives... Oh yeah, we already thought about this. Empty barrel, explosive, grenade. Did I actually add it, though? Or did I get distracted? Uh, I think the answer is yes. To that last part. Um, I did check that with the ordering of, uh, item IDs, uh, we should be able to make the cliff explosives without any extra logic. So, steel, barrel, uh, barrel, empty barrel, uh, let's say 50, grenade, 50, and cliff explosives, let's, let's just go with 100, why not? Uh, and I think I do remember doing this part. We have to say that... No? Didn't get that far. Uh, we have to say that... Barrel... Uh, let's just ask for 10. And allow up to 50. Uh, and grenade. One stack of... Oh! Grenade stacked to 100. Sure. Well, actually, 50 should be overkill for this. Uh, where am I going to put this? Down here. Uh, barrel. Grenade. Up to 100. Needs to be negative, actually. And so those prerequisites are permitted to be in this buffer chest, basically. The extra was when you built the signals. That makes sense. It was a good starting point, but it didn't seem like there was any way to define in what order the system did the crafts, or a way to make sure all the prerequisite items are already in the network when attempting so I'm trying to make that happen, but it turns out that's extremely complicated. Yes, it is. That's why... Uh, that's why the priority system that I've got is relatively... simple? Um, we're basically saying all of these are like prerequisites for all of these. Um, but yeah, I, I strongly recommend... Uh, not doing like manufacturing stuff in the auto crafter unless you're gonna uh, unless you want the challenge of uh, making one that has rules for every possible prerequisite um, if you can do that programmatically with recipe combinators uh, it would be impressive to say the least but even so um, just in terms of like throughput and everything, it's still better to have dedicated machines uh, for the common intermediate products. There's that do you want to die question again. I don't know what but, uh, what shortcut key I even have for that, but I keep... it's home. Uh, let's see. Other... Uh, controls. Home... Return to home. Respawn, here it is. What is return to home? Oh, recipe book. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we can... If we really need to... To do the suicide, because we're stuck, we can always find it through here. That's not the kind of thing you want quick access, super quick access to on the UI. Uh, unless you're playing something like... The old capture the flag in Quake, and it's just faster to respawn to get back somewhere. Okay. Uh, so we need to make sure our uh, what is it called? 
We need to make sure our cliff explosive autocraft is working. Let's turn all of these off. I wish there was a way to quickly just turn all of these on or off. Kind of like how shift right click, shift left click copies settings. Uh, I would like it if there was a shortcut to just drag over these and say all of these off or on. Even just that is hellish indeed. Set myself the challenge of making a blueprint that could build out the real base from a starter crafter. So it would only have to make assemblers, insert hands, chests, power poles, and solar panels. Oh, I see. Yeah, a lot of the time... Like, the the, the prerequisite order for inserters themselves, uh, the implicit ordering from item ID works out just fine. But obviously, all of these intermediate products uh, that go into it have higher item IDs, so... Uh, if, if you're making all of these elsewhere, the autocrafter will handle inserters just fine, uh, without any logic for that. But if you want, if you want the autocrafter to deal with all of this as well, uh, and like, inserter components, then you're in for a bit more of a rough time. I don't think we have coal here. And why are we not seeing steel barrels? Oh. We've got them, actually. Okay, uh, let's bring in some coal. And... Filter that. Uh, we shouldn't need too much. Let's set it the same as stone. That didn't take long. Oh, that's uh, silicon, actually. We do have coal available for pickup somewhere, right? Yeah, we do. Have I set it? I think I've set all of these to allow short trains. I have. So we should get a train coming to pick this up, unless we're getting coal from somewhere else first. There it is. We've got a little bit of this coal mine left. Not a whole lot. Wait, I thought I saw... Oh, it's actually empty. Completely. Oh, let's use the construction train for this. Well, there's still two train loads of coal, so we don't want to deconstruct that just yet. Um, I think I'll set the provide threshold to 1, just to make sure we do get rid of this. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can get our construction train to park maybe here? Because otherwise... I could park it on the roundabout. That should be okay, right? Wait for inactivity. Uh, let's say 15 seconds just to be safe, even though I've never seen it um, get particularly high. And away goes our train. T-Hex, how are you? Good. Damsel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Check out my cool construction train. We're, we're deconstructing a mine with this right now. Uh, we, we have tested it, but we haven't, like, thoroughly tested it. This is a real nice proof of concept right here. So it's finished its job. It's going to go back to uh, the emptying station. Can I not? There we go. Well, uh, I guess we can't really see what's happening. Uh, it's going to come back here. It has bots? Indeed it does. Uh, there's another mod called Equ Vehicle Equipment Grid that lets you put, among other things, bots in vehicles. But K2 actually does this as well. 
So that's empty. Now we know exactly what's in the train. Uh, now we've got our smart loading system. Putting precise amounts of stuff in each of these cargo wagons. Nice. And once it's finished loading, uh, we should get just once this programmable speaker uh, letting us know. In a way, it's ac it, in in some ways it's actually better than Spidertrons because I don't have to tell them to come back when they're done. I don't have to worry that they're going to get stuck with their inventory. Uh, of course, I can't tell the train to path down here where there's no rail, but on the other hand, I'm not going to have Spidertrons for quite a while, so... This is... a smaller version of this is... I'm, I'm definitely going to have that on each outpost. Uh, we're going to have a double header version on the other planets, because I do not want to accidentally give it an order to go somewhere that it can't back out of. Uh, but yeah, that should be... we're still waiting on the cliff explosives. Uh, do we have any coal here? Why is there a programmable speaker in the coal storage? Uh, what ID did I put this on? Encode network ID 1. That should be fine. So we're asking for 5k coal. Uh, that is 100 stacks which is well above the request stack threshold. Uh, provide threshold here is only one. In any case, we've got more than 80 stacks. Are we out of trains? No, we've got plenty of trains. Oh, did I put a positive number here? No, it's negative. Why are we not getting coal delivered here? Um, I'll give it a minute. I, I want to go and put the rest of these power armor things in the train. Oh, I almost missed that. Let's grab that. Out of short trains? Uh, no, it's not a short train that brings it... Well, it doesn't have to be a short train uh, that comes to this station. Uh, all right, let's just give it cliff explosives. Oh, what have we got here? Bringing one solid rocket fuel. I don't know where I want to draw the line with requests for this. Um, oh, actually, yes, I do. Be since we're allowing up to four times... We're requesting double, and we're allowing up to four times as much stuff before we start sending it back to them all. Um... So I think we can we can probably set a request stack threshold that's a bit higher. But I think this works on a per item basis. So maybe just a request stack threshold of one. It is a nice short trip, but still bringing just one item is a bit much. All right, let's give it uh, cliff explosives. Don't give it back to me. You fools. And there it is. Train is loaded and we get a little notification just once. Uh, let's, let's confirm it. We're going to hit here a little da da da. Uh, can I not get this to not spam messages at me? whenever it's not needed. That's unfortunate. Now I need, now I feel the need for a mod that gets rid of, uh, just like with Oni, there's a mod that suppresses certain notifications. 
Um, you can actually change them on a per building basis. I would love to have just this train not telling me destination full. Alright. What else was I doing? Trying to get coal up here. Is this it? That is silicon. How are we not getting coal delivered here? Uh, encoded network ID 1. Oh, this should have had encoded network ID 1. But the fact that it doesn't have an encoded network ID um, should mean that it could be delivered anyway. We've definitely got a train load of coal here. Provides... oh. I mean short or long train, I don't care which. And there's our train loaded. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I... I don't... understand. How are we not getting this... coal delivered? We have a short train, we have a lot of long trains, and we've seen silicon being delivered. Uh, request stack threshold 40. Uh, we have a request for 100 stacks of coal. Silicon? We're asking for half as much silicon, and it's the same stack size. Negative 5,000 coal. I don't get it. I really don't. We should also have some coal here, but not enough. Not enough for a delivery. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's fine that this is a regular provide threshold, and we've got a request stack threshold, but uh, just to remove a variable from the equation, I'm going to do this. You know what? Give it max priority. Just to be absolutely sure it's not just waiting on being scheduled. And we can see the coal signal here, 4.9k. It's not because we're asking for 5k at our destination. The request thresh, uh, the train can only bring uh, uh, 4,000 at a time. Well, I'm I'm gonna bump this back down anyway. Just wondering what possible explanation this could have. Oh, maybe the wire? No, the wire is definitely... This station was working before. Uh, we don't actually need power here, we just need power at the bulk rail loaders. Constant combinators don't require power somehow. Maybe this is one of those weird deconstruct it and put it back kind of things. I think in the entire playthrough last time, it only happened once that literally just deconstruct this, put it back. Oh, and the wires are gone. Uh, and then we found that it worked all of a sudden, but I don't think that's what's happening here. Provide threshold, provide stack threshold literally couldn't be lower. The 
the constant combinator is switched on over here. We keep seeing it deliver silicon. Oh, do I need to... Hold on, is this it? That's electronic circuits. What is going on? We... Oh, I think I see the issue. We've actually got 4.9k coal. I thought we had zero coal because... Uh, the filtered storage chest for coal uh, didn't have anything in it yet. Because we already had it in storage. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Alright, so that can stay the same, I think. Uh, make it 5k coal. Alright, so I actually want that coal moved. Because I want to be able to see that we've got coal. It'd be nice if we could force... I guess we can. How about I turn this into a buffer chest, temporarily? Coal... Uh, 48 stacks is 2,400. There's even more, actually, somewhere. Doing fantastic. How about thee? Pretty good, actually. Uh, we've got our construction train working very well indeed, with fully automatic supply from the bot network, uh, from the mall. Uh, and it'll also dump stuff back into the mall. Uh, whether it's stuff that isn't being asked for here, or we just end up with too much. Um, I need an excuse to build something. Um, I'm sure there's a rail block that we've designed, but haven't built yet on this planet. Concrete? We are getting concrete from Nalvis, but who cares? Uh, heat shield LDS as well. We could probably do that. Um, where should I put it? I think I wouldn't mind putting heat shield LDS here, especially since it's pretty close to rocket control units. Uh, and I'll remove that. Okay, so we're going to take our train, which is on a schedule that can never have its conditions met, so it's just waiting orders. We're going to move our train about here. We're going to put the temp stop up here and set it to inactivity. And our train is going to drive into place. Roboports are going to jump out. Inactivity condition is not going to be met whenever a bot interacts with the cargo wagons. Our uh, block is going to get built, or at least most of it. Um, we don't quite have enough, co enough coverage to reach all the way across. Uh, it's going to take at least three more roboports per cargo wagon to do that. Um, but what we can do is send it, say, over here once we get the inactivity condition. The efficiency is nuts. I built a nuclear powered freighter with condenser turbines. Nice. Oh, there's already a train trying to come here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, do not park a train in front of bulk rail unloaders or loaders uh, if you don't want them to interact with them. They do not have to like lock into place with a train stop to make those work. That's something I learned by accident. Uh, 
Uh, so having this much Roboport range does make building a bit slower than it necessarily needs to be. I could either reduce the Roboport range so it's like only half a block, uh, or I could shove in so many Roboports that hopefully it can reach all the way up here. Um, I might try that. I am currently carrying uh, 10. Give me a bit more. Roboport Mark II. I'll add another three or so for each cargo wagon. I haven't laughed so much in a while, Mike and Noodle Beige Comedians in chat last night. What? Uh, Frith Rabbit, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's put a tag here. Uh, locomotive. With Roboports. That kind of tells the story, right? Unf maybe I could try and make it look like the train. Add tag. Cargo wagon. <laughs> How well is this going to work? Add tag cargo wagon. Look at this beautiful art. And then personal roboport. Like that. Brilliant. Being. I'm never gonna live down the finger slip. Rip finger slip. Uh, cool. We built it. Or at least we built it as much as we could in one trip. Uh, it might be possible, though, to bring enough stuff to do all of that in one go. Um, because I haven't updated all of these, like what we're actually putting in the wagons, just yet. And then we're going to fill up. I could set a condition of wait until full... Actually, no. Wait until inactivity and then go back here, but then it's going to start going around in circles. And I don't want that. The ship looks like a finger pointing at something. Oh, was that you? Uh, on the Discord? Andy87, yes. Yeah, I saw that. First first thing I did was add the uh, point, it, point up uh, emote into that chat. Okay. Um, I'm way too lazy to do it, but I could do item count for every separate thing that we're putting in here. Um, just so that I could see a list getting filled up as, uh, as it goes. Oh, what's this doing? Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. No, 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 stop, 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 don't go through there. Whew, okay. And it actually picked up where it left off. It does end up with a couple of extra bots in. I think that was because of whatever happened a moment ago, though. Alright, so let's send our train here. And then here. And when it comes back, uh, it should be... This block should be finished. Easy as that. Actually, it probably doesn't need the second trip. Uh, the second stop. That is so cool. Okay. Let's head back to the mall. And confirm that we're getting... Wait, I think I already saw it. 
Nope, we're bringing inserters and chain signals. Um, cliff. We're not making cliff explosives yet. Why not? Because we need explosives. How is there no coal here? Oh, did I not add it to the... That's why we don't have coal here. I could have sworn I did this yesterday. Alright, two stacks of coal. And... Allow up to five stacks of coal. In that chest. Uh, and then we're going to have to do something similar for explosives. Uh, here we go. Explosives. Say a hundred. Uh, are we requesting explosives here already? I think we are. Fantastic. Yeah, you can see them up here. In the filtered... Uh, filtered storage chests. Alright, cool. That's cliff explosives. Fully automated. For the third time or something. Uh, what else did we want to build? Heat shield... LDS... Uh, concrete? Where do I want to put concrete? It's probably thirsty, isn't it? I think concrete is thirsty. Here it is. Uh, 120 per second. That's actually pretty tame. But I didn't bother... making a train drop off last time for the water. Oh, I think... No? I thought concrete could consume water really fast sometimes. I guess not. Okay. I don't know, we don't really need another sand consumer on this planet while we're still bringing uh, concrete in via delivery cannon. Oh, that seems to have stopped. Uh, are, we o are we okay? with our delivery cannons. Let's see, power, cannon, uh, delivery cannon. They fired a bunch 12 minutes ago. So it's not broken, not yet. Doesn't seem to be any coal here though. That's surprising. Didn't we have too much coal? Uh-oh. I think I messed something up here. Uh, here it is. We've got... Encoded Network ID 1, Provide Stack Threshold 81, High Priority. Short and long trains are permissible. So why is there no coal dropped off here? We're looking for 16k coal. There's no restriction with the encoded network IDs. Constant, cater is, constant combinator is switched on. Uh, 16k is two train loads. Oh, there's a... Oh, oh, all of our trains are out of fuel, I think. If not in traffic. Okay, well there's your problem. We need to get back to Nalvis relatively soon. Gotta go have fun, Kappa Beast, thanks for dropping by. Passenger present and passenger not present. Yes, Schrodinger's passenger. That's how we have a condition that can't be met. Might post my attempt at fully vanilla distance agnostic 
train prioritization system in Discord this afternoon after work. I need someone else to poke holes in it. Fair enough. Sounds interesting. Uh, okay, so we do need to... Uh, I hate to say it, but we need to get back to Nalvis. But I, I I really want to go to Granis first and get our first... It's sort of our first outpost, because this planet... This is, this is not an outpost. This is our main base. Uh, if anything, now this is almost like the outpost. Uh, I guess in that case it does make sense to make a concrete block already. Um, let's get it somewhere relatively out of the way. Could put it way over here. Maybe not that far out of the way. What does it consume? Uh, let's see. Stone brick, iron, and sand. Stone brick, iron, and sand. Iron is here. Sand is... I don't think we have... Oh, yes, we do. Is that... That looks weird. Oh, that's why. <laughs> I was going to say, that doesn't look like one icon. Because it's not... Can I... Can I not put this here? Really? What's happening? Add sand. Now it works. Uh, we do have sand, it's up here. Uh, stone brick. Stone brick. Where did we put stone brick? Oh, it's way over here. Because it's close to stone. That's fine. Yeah, I think close to the iron and sand would make a lot of sense. Uh, so maybe up here? Oh, we're still waiting to get rid of that. Oh, we're not. Already gone. Let's get concrete. Right about here. Uh, get rid of this. Just in case we decide to mine the cryonite. I don't think... I think it's going to be ages before we even bother tapping any of the cryonite mines. Uh, but yeah, let's get our construction train up this way. Wait for inactivity. Uh, and that's probably going to be enough just with the one trip, actually. Alright, we'll wait for the notification sound. Subhen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are there any other rail blocks that I've already designed that we want built on this planet now? We've got glass. We've got this stone tablet. Me as well about here? Seems good. Okay, let's get back to our shopping list. Oh, 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 we got the solar panels. Yeah, we were waiting on that, I forgot. 3k solar panels. Uh, it looks like we've actually loaded everything. Except for core mining drills. I don't think we have core mining drill. Uh, we need burners. We need yellows. We need quite a few yellows. I think those go into the core mining drills. Uh, yes. 
So I think it's 40, right? Yeah. We'll ask for a couple of stacks of yellows. And a few stacks of electric. Make it 500. Uh, big mining drill we're not going to put in just yet. Because we don't have the technology, weirdly enough. And core mining drill... Uh, I don't know, 10. Subhan, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Fantastic. Indeed. <laughs> fantastic. Uh, and that sound down here as well was our train announcing that it's ready to go again. Oh, I see what happened. I forgot to set it up so that it would go to the emptier first on the way back. Um, since we've got so much spare space in the train, it's really not mattering so far. But, yeah, look at that. What are we missing here? Long-handed inserters. Do we really not have inserters? Oh, we don't have long-handed inserters. Okay, let's put those here. Whoops. Turn on the combinator. Uh, which one? Oh yeah, no, I, I have a couple more things I have to do for this first. Uh, so everything that's a prereq, we want to allow a stack um, in here. So that includes burner drills, electric drills. This is not actually a prerequisite. I'll just leave a gap for that though, maybe. In case I'm wrong. Uh, and we don't actually need, you know, that should be fine. Uh, while we're at it, stone furnace, steel furnace, electric furnace. I should just do electric furnace now, to be honest. I think it's steel furnace that goes into an industrial furnace. Whatever, let's stay focused. Uh, so I think we need some more combinators over here already. Also, it would probably help if this had been connected. Okay. Gotta go to work. Take care, Andy. Thanks for hanging out. Can... Have you made any changes to the train blueprint since you put it on Discord, or is it good to go? Uh, the one I put on earlier today, um, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. Or well, there's maybe, like, one tiny thing I've changed, like, uh... I think I changed this from times negative one to times negative two. So that we're asking for more stuff. And allowing more stuff before we throw it back into the mall. Just something like that. Maybe this buffer chest was a requester chest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's basically fully functional. Uh, let's send our train up here. And this time it will go back to the emptier. Did I miss anything in chat? We got a bit of a burst. No, I think we're good. My work isn't too bad. I work two days a week for like two hours a day. Uh, that's what I want. So that I can focus on streaming without having to worry about the rest. That's great, in fact, indeed. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh yeah, we were doing drills. Um, so I need to... I don't think there's room... Oh, there is. Let's put it here, actually. We're going to allow up to two stacks. Uh, up to... actually... yeah, no, that's fine. Up to two stacks of this, up to five stacks of this. Before it gets shoved into this requester chest. We've still got plenty of room, so this is working pretty well. 
Uh, and I think we're already on low priority stuff, so once I switch this on, we should see if we can make some drills. Fantastic. So within 30 seconds, that'll switch over. And once we do see it working, I'll turn all of these on again. Any second now. Hurry up. Much schnell bitte. Uh, are we really not? There it goes. Alright, we're getting electric drills. And we're getting all of the ingredients for coal mining drills. Fantastic. Although, it is trying to take electric drills for this is at the same time. Uh, I don't think we have rare metals in this network. I need to allow them in the big chest as well. Rare metals, stacks to 100. We'll allow up to five stacks. We will just request one stack and ask for it in the rail network. Oh, our train's back. Cool. I I'm really loving how well this works. All right, what was this? Blue circuits. Blue processing units. And concrete. Where would you make the K2 things that require nitric acid? That autocrafter seems to only supply lube. Uh, yeah. Um, having it supply different fluids uh, for a multi-crafter is a whole different problem that I don't think is worth the trouble unless you, unless you're interested in it like as an intellectual challenge. I almost forgot, before I get back to this, I was going to add even more robo ports. Um, to these cargo wagons. It shouldn't be too much, it, it shouldn't be that harsh. Um, because the, the robo ports have an enormous amount of charge that they hold on to. So we should be able to get any given build done in one trip. Um, but I think that said, we are pushing it a little bit, probably, by only having six big portable solar panels like this. Uh, but we should now have... Quite a bit more reach. Uh, it looks like we'll almost be able to reach like from here to here. I want to build something else so we can check. Or I could just send the train uh, to this spot. We're not actually going to build anything. We're just going to we're just going to see how much reach the uh, uh, the RoboPorts have. Do you have a YouTube video explaining your setup? Uh, this auto building the Optocrafter or the train? Uh, no, I only built those recently. Uh, that's almost perfect. We can just barely not reach this rail down here. I don't really want to add even more RoboPorts, though. Is this the highest tier of personal RoboPort? Like, for the whole game? Personal RoboPort... Yes, it is. Hmm. 
I mean, I could add even more. It might struggle to keep up. I don't know. We, it's it's also going to have so much battery charge that we'd have to send it on build after build after build for it to actually run out. Let me just turn off my RoboPot and you know what? I should have put this here. And we'll be able to see if it can reach uh, this rail up here. Perfect. Okay, I can live with that. I think uh, it's only five big portable solar panels, but it's an absolutely enormous amount of battery storage built into the RoboPorts, and it's going, it's obviously going to be very bursty with how it uses its power. So that that's probably fine. I worked on prototyping something a bit ago. You can use a series of pumps. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, the nitric acid stuff. Yeah. Um, you can, I should clarify, there is an option on the crafting combinators. Uh, you can have it discard fluids when it switches recipe. So... The only question if you are going to use multiple fluids for input uh, is how you can minimize wasting fluids. Um, it's not impossible. Alright, cool. Anything else we can build? I, I just want to play with this construction train more. Uh, air purifiers really don't matter because there are zero biters on this planet. Um, although I wouldn't mind the trees that I plant later being able to survive. We do have small electric motors, right? Yeah, they're right here. We've done oil... Uh, I think we've got all of this. Which means I don't have an excuse to build some... Oh, ice. Yeah, we need ice. I'm pretty sure I haven't done an ice build. It needs to be close to the water because it is very, very thirsty, obviously. So let's put it here. Just make sure the rail block can fit properly. Uh, we'll need a little bit of landfill. I think that's fine, actually. But I haven't got landfill in the train. Uh, let's put it in this slot back here. We actually tend to need landfill in pretty high volume, so I'm kind of glad this is mostly empty at the moment. I wonder how we end up with the extra... I, I know I didn't use the emptier station this time, but I do wonder how we ended up with extra RoboPorts in here. I, I don't think the train would have left robo robots behind. Uh, anyway. Landfill... Like so. I don't think we have it in the mall yet. What shall we make our landfill out of? I've got the storage system set up to eventually turn stuff into landfill before we scrap it, but nothing is remotely that full. So I think we'll just have to make it out of... I was going to say stone, but there's a better recipe, right? One that's more efficient, but is a little more complex. Uh, sand plus water. 50 sand plus 50 water makes landfill. We could summon water to the mall and build that there. 
but I think I would like a little rail block. Yeah, so we've based, uh, excluding the recipes that are basically to get rid of stuff, uh, we've got 50 sand plus water, 50 stone, or 200 sand. Um, the choice is pretty obvious since stone is a little bit precious. Uh, I think I'll build it here since we don't have room for a, plop, a proper block. And it's going to be a small build. What was that about? Oh, my scroll wasn't working. I have? Landfill? I'm sure you have an ice build somewhere. Oh no. Was was that not... Oh yeah, because I remember sending ice in high volume. Where is our ice then? Well, I know how we can find it actually. Water ice. Here it is. That's a much easier way to find things, isn't it? Although when when I jump to when I try to go to the map. Oh no, that's it right there. Okay, water ice. It's very difficult to see until we cave this. So let's do that. Do I have any concrete? I do. Where's our build? That's not a whole lot of concrete. Uh, I might have to have a separate train specifically for concrete and stuff. Also research rocket? Indeed. Yeah, I was kind of looking for stuff that I've already got the blueprint for, just so we can play with the train. Um, but this is fine. Alright, let's do a little landfill build. Why don't we do it next to our cargo rocket? And we need... Train stop here. I don't suppose I could do a two-in-one. I don't need to, but it might be fun. I need a bigger chest. Uh, it's literally just sand in. For physical stuff, it's only sand in and landfill out, right? Can I make one of these? I can't. Let's go grab some. Uh, I've gone to the right when the mall is straight south again. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need big chest. That's not what I meant. Where, where, where be the big chests? Are they really all in here? I guess so. That's not what I meant. Give me the big chest. Okay. And I went left. Or west, when I shouldn't have. I keep thinking that the cargo rocket is like north northwest of the mall, but it's not. Uh, I guess that's too big actually, because where is the assembler going to be? No, it's the the assembler can be anywhere. As a matter of fact. Okay, so we're going to do. One, two, three, four, five, six. On second thought, it's going to be 50 sand to one landfill, right? Uh, 
Not that we want the train loading to take longer than it needs to. Even so. It's a lot of sand. Maybe... Maybe a double would be good. In which case, maybe we should use a bulk rail unloader after all. And... Delivery cannon chest. I don't actually have one on me. Seriously? Uh... It's 50 sand, 75 sand per second. Delivery cannon chest might actually be bad there. I really don't need this giant chest though. Whatever. Uh, that actually doesn't have room. 45 cent per second is not enough. Alright. And then assembly. And... We can't use the bulk rail unloaders if we're gonna use the same station. You absolute dap. then like so, and like so, and we'll just have a short train pick up the landfill, or actually I hate that. Uh, I don't like that at all, now that I think about it. Even if it's just one chest for each, I definitely want... If we're messing around with this, we need to do precise loading. You know what? I don't I don't want to bother with this needlessly complicated build anymore. Let's just do bulk rail unloaders for sand. Uh we can't have the bulk rail unloader put stuff into the assembly machine, can we? That would be very convenient. I don't think we can though, because we're not seeing the uh, the usual yellow indicators of... I don't actually have any sand on me. How about my gear wheel? It's not going to put that in, is it? Nope, doesn't work that way. Why can't I craft this? Because I don't have concrete. Do we not have concrete in the mall? Uh, we don't have concrete in the mall. Should probably fix that. Let me put it down here, actually. Concrete. And... Concrete, 5k, need some room for it somewhere. Uh, we should have a little bit here, but also we added a build for concrete, which is not working, because, because why? Concrete. I think something was in the way when I tried to build those bulk rail unloaders. Alright, let's get that done. And that should be it.
Alright then. I can't believe how much I'm overthinking this one. Uh, sand is pretty fast, so we'll use bulk rail unloaders. If I do 45 per second, we're not going to get the assembly machine working as fast as it could. But maybe I don't care? Oh, but we need a different station for the pickup. Which means I shouldn't put this here. One, two, three, four. Now I can't be bothered with the rail. Okay, okay. Let's just do it this way. Uh, double train to drop off sand. Single train to pick up sand. Uh, landfill, rather. Except then we'd have to make sure that we never... I hate every possibility with this. Why is this suddenly so complicated? I need some delivery cannon chests. Let's go get them. And I went too far right again. Look, the sand train's inventory so it can't get landfill? Lock it. Oh no, it doesn't work that way with LTN. It'll just get reset when it goes back to the depot. Did we get any drills? Uh, we got quite a lot of drills, but no core mining drills. Because there's no concrete. Because why? Oh, because this hasn't been working yet. Where's our train? What? Did I not send you up here? Wait, you do have bulk rail unloaders. I know you do. Because you built that other one. Let's keep an eye on it this time. Might learn something about how it's not working as I thought. Uh, we've got bots, we've got bulk rail unloaders, we've got construction distance. Oh, okay, that was different. It just took way longer than usual for the bots to leave the train. Okay, so I need to make sure... Um, we set inactivity to maybe 20 or 30 seconds or something. Good to know. I'm glad I followed, uh, paid attention to this one. There should have been a train trying to deliver this here, though. Even though the, we didn't, didn't have the bulk rail unloaders. Right? You can't tell me there's... Iron, stone brick, and sand are all missing. There's lots of iron. We've got plenty of trains. Uh, request tack threshold 80. Long train, 16k iron plate. These are all set as negatives. I wonder what's happening. What was it that made me... Oh, I was wondering why there was no coal, but it turned out we actually had coal here earlier. So... That's not similar to whatever this problem is. There's no wire here. Sneaky. Sneaky. No path to station without the loaders. If there's no path, it'll schedule a train, but the train will say no path.
Okay, cool. RF Holloway, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No water too, good point. Uh, let me just grab the cannon chests that I came for. Uh, they're in here. And can we request a few more of those? Oh, I meant to turn all of these back on again. got the huge storage tanks. Huge storage tank goes here. Pumps go here. Pipes go here. Water request goes here. Uh, request threshold, not stack, goes here. And pipes. Pipes can go here, I guess. I think I actually used those large storage tanks just because they're fewer pipe segments. Or maybe I was going to build something here that would consume water faster later on. Alright, there's our concrete. Good to know. Fantastic. And now we've got everything we need to make a nice, neat little build over here. So... Uh, delivery cannon chest. Sand. Wait, that can only fit one. One cargo wagon. Oh no. Alright, let's just do it with two stations. How can we fit two stations here? Is it possible? I don't think so. One station here and one station here? Possibly. In which case we could have... We might be able to have bulk rail unloader. Alright, so that lines up, and that hopefully won't drop its contents into the bulk rail unloader. Just barely. And then... Assembly machine? Uh, storage, and inserters. I think this might bottleneck the sand on shoving stuff into the delivery cannon chest. I could be wrong. And then pump goes up here. Is the tank connected to LTN? Uh, probably not. Good point. Luckily we did that before... before any water arrived. But it's really easy with water to fix it, because we don't care about losing the water, just delete it. I don't think you connected... yes, yes indeed. Wait. Oh, that was stone brick I was seeing. It wasn't the output concrete. I was going to say, I thought I saw concrete on these belts. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, substation? Why is there no power pole here? Can go here. And we're going to have a both a pickup and a drop off. Wait, no, it's two stations, isn't it? So just a request. 
Requesta and a provider. This station is called Sand Requesta. Goes into an assembly machine to make landfill. And this is landfill provider. And I think I, yeah, I will just have short trains delivering landfill. I did say it would be a problem if it was only short trains with that before, but I think it's fine. I could even probably... It's overkill, but I'm curious as to whether we can get away with it. So the locomotive is going to park under the bulk rail loader. That's nice. Uh, and then... Just put that... You know what? Can I... Uh, let's just do it this way. We really don't need blue belt for this part. Right then. Uh, and we need our offshore pump. Where be our offshore pump? Here it is. Why is it so far from, like, pipes and pumps in the ordering? I guess in it, it's under production next to all these miners, but it still feels weird. Alright, so we are requesting sand. Uh, I'll probably make it a low priority. Yeah, I'll definitely make it a low priority. And this one will be short train only. Uh, provide stack threshold 40, and provide threshold doesn't matter. So that's going to connect like so, and these two, these three are going to connect like so. Send a uh, couple of train loads. Seems good. And that should be scheduled shortly. Unless something's busted. Nope. Looks okay. Do we have sand available? Uh, very yes. Extremely yes. Although I am concerned at how the stone input isn't full. Did we run out of stone over here? We actually did. Okay, we need to make uh, at least a couple of stone mines. It's 2.6 mil way over there. Let's just get... Oh, have I added... Drills down here? I think I should probably do that. I don't know, it's probably going to be pretty awkward, pretty difficult sometimes to get the train to build a mining outpost. Then again, it doesn't hurt. Is science still going? Uh, it looks like it is. Mm, no. Uh, we don't have utility science because we don't have efficiency modules. Why don't we have efficiency modules? 
Oh, we've run out of electronic components. Okay, fair enough. We have a stone mine up here that we haven't tapped properly. 228k. Uh, I'll leave it. It's attached to the old mall. Let's pick up the old mine first. I need to speed up core mining because that is a source of stone. to self. That should not have full coverage actually. And down here as well. Let's put a bulk rail loader Actually, I'll put it over here. Uh, standard pickup. Bit of wire. Delivery cannon chest. So that we can just merge all of this into here. I'm surprised we don't use prod modules on the stone mines. Uh, prod modules... I think this happened last time, but I've definitely done it before. Uh, if we try too hard with the prod modules early on, it's really easy to overdo power consumption. Uh, and the comparative scale of how much we're consuming in the early game is not that high. So I think it's I think it's easier if we just skip a few tiers of prod modules. Do we Oh that should be a substation. Alright. Oh, I didn't have alt mode on. There we go. Uh, substation, get out of the way. We have one, two, three belts we need to add here. That's not what I meant to do. No, wait, we already had that one. It's just this belt over here, right? Seems good. Uh, this is stone provider, and because it's a finite source, we're going to have encoded network ID 1. And I thought there was another stone mine around here, but maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, there's 720, sorry, 750k down here. It's a little bit out of the way, but not too bad. Alright, let's run... I haven't brought the construction train over here yet. Let's bring up construction train here. Uh, inactivity 30 seconds. Morning, BG Nyman. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we go. Welcome, welcome. Also, 
All right, I want north south. That's not north south. What the? Heck? There we go. Uh, north south rails snap like this down to where the snow is, uh, stone is. Remove ghosts. And I'll probably just be lazy for a sec. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be right in the middle of those four blocks, so let's just do it like this or something. Until we've removed the stone. Plan out our stone mine. What have we got? One, two, three, four. If we stretch it out a little bit, I think we could do that. That's a pretty good fit. Seems good. Let's actually get our bulk rail loader right in the middle. Delivery cannon chest so that we can just point our did I run out of blue undergrounds? Just point our uh, belts at this thing. That is nice and neat. Alright, where's our train? Doing its job admirably. Can I get it to come down here by uh, step by step? What are we missing up here? Beacons? Looks like. Yeah. And some blue loaders, I think. We're like one loader short here. That's weird. Oh, we need 52 for the whole thing. Yep, it does make sense. Alright, our train is going to get stuck until we get this roundabout done. Which, now that I look at a uh, now that I look at it, we might not have enough rail in the train. So I'll have to back it up. As soon as my bot stop jumping out. Yes, I know. It's kind of like foul, but not. Does this not bring the bots out? Or is it doing that thing again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes a while. Okay. It's very inconsistent with how long it takes the bots to initially do something.
what can we do in the meantime? Not a whole lot, I imagine. How much more rail do we have? Not too much. I could probably just steal it and place it myself. Hurry up, bots. There we go. Up we go. And... Go home. Fantastic. Guten Morgen, card user. Good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's a little bit of roundabout missing here, but it's not doing any harm. That was weird hearing you speaking German. Uh... I know a little bit of German, but if I know how to say something like, was it really, I just blanked on it. The hose, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Wo bist du? I think we're out of rail now. Oh, we're actually super close. Uh, in fact, if the bots don't build at random, we can probably maybe get this done. And over here as well. Yeah, that's, uh, that might be enough. I need one more rail signal. There we go. Alright, off you go, bots. So do we have path down here? Maybe not, because the signal's missing. Uh, let's check with this train. We actually have path all the way to the station. Fantastic. Okay, let's get some power down here. And... I was going to send the construction train, but it won't be able to turn around. So I'll go get some blue belt myself. I think I might use the... Uh, use this train as a taxi, though. Wait until passenger present. Fantastic. Right roundabout missing rails. Uh, this one. I think it's not missing a rail that would stop the train from getting home. We're about to find out anyway. Or if you mean this one, then yeah. But we don't actually have a train needing to come here, so I don't think it'll be a problem. Here comes our train. Fantastic. Are you going to return to Mall? Destination full. Oh. Mole returns, there we go. The bottom one has like three pieces, three one pieces missing. Yeah, we've got ghosts there, we just haven't built it yet. So we're finally at the stage where taking a train trip in our base makes sense. Alright, so that is 513k, and this is 750. That should last a little while at least. We need some blue belt. We got some blue belt. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, construction train. Go make sure you finish over here. And for the stone mine, we'll use this train. Uh, 
let's just say 30 seconds and passenger. Okay. Meanwhile, let's try and think about our shopping list. We have a lot of solar, accumulators, rail, glass, iron, concrete, for some reason 612 heat shielding. That doesn't sound right. We're looking for 2k. So we are still loading stuff in here. Oh, there's our coal mining drills. I forgot that's why we had to add them, because the loader system was stuck on them. Actually, I don't know how we got 612 heat shielding in there. Maybe we added the request for core drills after that? Or something? I didn't bring enough rail. Do I have steel beams? Let's grab some stone. I mean, a lot of this isn't really necessary right now, but even so, I'd prefer to get it done. Fantastic. Don't have enough uh, signals either. outposting for Vulcanite. Uh, yeah, we're going to... This is actually sort of our first outpost. Uh, we're on the first planet that we've gone to, but... that's This thing actually, as a taxi, has a built-in don't-go-anywhere function, because we've only got the one stop that takes stuff back to the mall, and it's never active at the moment. Oh, we're still waiting for landfill. That's why we haven't heard the train is ready noise for a while. We still don't have sand here? That's odd. Oh, I probably set the request threshold too low. I mean, the request too low. The request threshold is 80 stacks. 80 times 200 is actually 16k. So even though it's negative priority, uh, that should kick in quite soon, because we've got lots of sand to go around. Any second now. The wires are connected properly. Hello? Provide threshold 80, train link. Uh, provide request threshold 80 stack, train link 4, it did say stack size, right? Provide stack threshold. I kind of like how we can see at a quick glance that this must be pretty full, because we've got sand in the delivery cannon chest here. Uh, but yeah, I don't know why... Oh, I saw... We don't have enough trains. Okay, good to know. Could I add... Why don't I just put it down here for now? I might end up wanting to do more with this space later on, but... I think we can... Just put that here for the moment. Put down some requester chests. These ones for long trains, these ones for short trains. I could actually do just one of these uh, that detects where the locomotives are. 
with LTN. Except it wouldn't actually work. Because when we place, uh, even if we do it perfectly, uh, if we place a train like this, it's not actually going to recognize that the train is linked to the station. It's not going to like read train contents or anything like that. Uh, okay, so let me bring this down file. There we go. And we're looking for solid rocket fuel 30. And some burner inserters. Don't actually need the stations now that that's been measured. Uh, it might be good if we could do some more of these in parallel, actually. But I don't think... Not without changing the signals, we can't really fit that there. I'd really rather not change the signals. I think this uh, curved one makes this one stop working. No, it's actually this one. That's weird. Okay. And off you go. Another long one. Let's add a short one. Actually, I think we do want to make sure we've got signals between these two. Off you go to the depots. One more of each. Probably a couple more longer ones, actually. Okay, how many trains do we have here? Uh, if they all stopped, they might fill up the depot at this stage. I don't think we actually have that many. But I think it's more important that there's always some idle. Alright, so we should have sand coming up here. Or not. I'm not seeing LTN complaining right now, but I'm not seeing a train coming up here either. Let's add some more. I might reorder these. Back to the depot where you belong. Okay, so we should always see some trains idle here, of each type. Uh, unpronounceable name, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, so is someone bringing sand? Someone is bringing sand. Fantastic. Do you have an overview about all LTN trains? Uh, actually, I can't use LTN Manager with this playthrough because it crashes. I think it's got something to do with the editor extensions, uh, the extra surface here. Um, but I don't know, is there another way I can... I don't think there is another way I can check, like get an overview of what all of the trains are doing, is there? Uh, 
Not sure about that one. Actually, I want to check something real quick. If I turn off the testing lab, can I do that in the middle of the game? Uh, I could cheat just like this if I wanted to. Uh, but more to the point, does LTN manager work all of a sudden? No, no, it doesn't. I wonder if it's not the editor extensions thing, or if just changing it on the fly like that is not enough. That's weird, I have LTN manager and the editor surfaces, so it could be a different conflict. Or the versions, yeah. Who knows. Uh, I might update everything next time. There's a mod or two that I want to add, but I'll do a backup first. How's our loading go? We've got our coal mining drills. Fantastic. So we're still trying to load LDS, steel, PU, all kinds of circuits, copper, quite a lot of stuff actually. Everything that's positive here we're still trying to load. No K2 and no bulk loaders? LTN manager works fine for me, and I have SE plus EE. EE. Definitely suffering from an older bug they had a month ago. Okay. Yeah, I don't update that often, um, because I, I... I take the time to make a backup for the stream save before I update. Unless I've just started, maybe. Editor extensions, right? Yes, of course. Okay, how's our new stone mine is not working because I didn't power it? Fantastic. I still haven't heard our train get what it's looking for for a while. Um, but that's probably because we just started making this landfill. Looks like the loading system here is keeping up quite easily. I did set this to exactly one train load, so it will run out before... No, it won't run out, it'll it'll go down to... Huh. The rate at which this drains into the delivery cannon chest is actually relatively close to how quickly the assembly machine consumes it. I was going to say once there's no sand here but there's some sand here. Nope, because we are measuring this one. Dub. I could do it like this. But yeah, I think there's only going to be a brief window where it's not detecting anything, but there's some sand left. Hmm. Uh, the reason I didn't set this higher is I don't want to go through sand that aggressively for landfill. But then we're already doing a negative priority on this. What's the rate of consumption? 75 per second. Hmm. So that's like 30 stone per second. It's a little aggressive. It's so weird having a playthrough where stone is so relatively precious. Uh it'll it'll cease to be eventually, uh, even if we don't like tap a stone planet. Um, just the stone that we get from core mining, I think, is probably going to be enough. As we break down more and more different types of cores. Uh, but yeah, in this moment in particular, uh, I don't want to 
I don't want to take sand that aggressively. So I think I'll leave it as asking for exactly one train load. Let's get some power. Make sure all of these are working. Make sure we have coverage, which we don't. Oh, there's a bit over here as well. Give me all that precious, precious stone. It'll be a long time before landfill has enough for a train. This is true. I'll probably just pick it up manually for the foreseeable future. Destination full... wait, what? No path. Signal busted? Nani? Oh, I see. We don't usually go that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've made this mistake before. How about... We just do it like this for now. Let me in. Fantastic. Okay. Are there any more stone mines that are relatively close? Because I'm lazy? That's a good one. 2.2 mil. It's just up here. I think we will tap that right now. So I don't have to think about stone for a minute. Alright. Like... something like this. Maybe bring that down a little bit. Actually, I've already been reloaded. Let's head over there ourselves. Wait, no, I, I need to bring extra rail. Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why do I have this many, uh, everything, actually? Okay. Uh, give me rail. I should probably have a dedicated chest for rail somewhere so that we can just... Oh, here it is. I already did that. I think we should be trying to make more rail. Although, I think what I was thinking earlier with this was we should mass produce rail outside of this thing, and this is just for the prerequisites. But on the other hand, it's really easy to make rail fast. Apparently we're trying to make express splitters and nothing else. That's kind of weird, to be honest. Probably has something to do with the bots just resupplying me a moment ago. Uh, but anyway, we have 472 rail right now. That actually is almost enough. I know where we can get some more. straight up this way. Fantastic. You get the speed just right. The bots can build this stuff faster than expected. Just 
just have to let the other bots catch up to me. The ones that have already built something. Okay. And here we are. So we're going to put this around about here. Uh, start about here for mines. Stretch this one out a bit. Looks like we've got coverage there. Looks like we've got coverage there. And... Like so. Wait, is that facing the wrong way? It is. Wait, is all of it facing the wrong way? Oh no. Nope. Nope. Belts the wrong way, I think. Indeed they were. Alright. So, underground. Delivery cannon chest. Uh, one. And two. And that's in the way, actually. How rude. Loaders. Uh, how about three, four, five? Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Indeed it is. I was reminded of that pretty viscerally playing a little bit of XCOM, actually. Can't reach this down here, can I? Nope. Oh, wait. I think I miscalculated. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this can go here. A bit more symmetrical. And then that goes there. Fantastic. Now we just need power. And power. And power. Alright, do we have path? We do indeed. And we have stone. Beautiful. So that is 2.2 mil plus half a mil plus seven, uh, 0.75 mil. So we've got like 3.25 million stone coming in now. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, pickup station. Connect that to green wire. Sto oh, oh, you're taking on stone. Okay, I guess that's fine. Stone provider and encoded network ID 1. Because this is a finite resource. Encoded network ID 1. I think I saw an extra signal there. And encoded network ID none, because we haven't put a combinator here. Why don't I just copy this one? And we will have to physically go over there uh, to put that combinator in place. Let's do it with this train. And before we know it, we'll be home. One mining row not connected? No. Oh, uh, I thought there were... Yep, yep. I was right the first time. There are actually three on this side. 
Okay. All right. Uh, can't even put that there as a plan because it'll stop the flow that's happening now. All right, we'll just have to head back there after this one. Or I could get the cons I couldn't get the construction train to do it because there's no loop here. It'll get stuck. All right, so that's that one done. Now let's head back all the way to the furthest point in the rail network. Uh, just wait like 30 seconds. Oh, that's the wrong... Don't add it to this one. Best part was you counted five while placing four. <laughs> yeah, I thought we needed five and then I thought that I somehow overestimated it. As I was blind to that one. I might just limit this to one train load. Because I really don't want to go through a million sand. Uh, making landfill before we need it. Not until we can take stone for granted. And we're here. Fantastic. All right, everything good now? Yes. Back to the mall. With our 2k stone, incidentally. Okay. I think I've run out of ways to procrastinate. Well, also, we're almost actually finished loading the stuff that I asked for before. Do we have... Uh... Defense? We don't have media defense. I did request it, right? No, I did not. Well... That figures. Meteor, defense, installation, let's say 20. I'll just make sure I didn't add this somewhere else. Nope, don't think so. Uh, and we'll need some media defense installation ammo as well. Maybe I should put that on the high priority end. It doesn't need any special stuff. Where should I put it? Uh, let's just add it here. Say... a hundred? No, I think we should stack up more than that. This will be 50 stacks, but I think I'm okay with that. Okay, here we are. I should probably give them a hand with the stones since they're so busy. Oh, actually... Oh, I can't put it in there. Alright. That's right, I remember I was... Oh, this is full! Well, there you go. Um, I was going to say early, uh, yesterday when I was filling this up, I didn't want to do all the math to see if we were over full yet. Uh, and it turns out we are already. We could probably not take as much heat shield LDS. Let's 
see if we have any room left over after that. Love how it's nice and neat. Let's give it a hand. One K and eight shields all over the place because of this gap here. How much more are we trying to get out? 400. It's 200. There we go. The automatic emptying is cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're just getting uh, everything we're trying to put in times negative one. Uh, and then removing all of these signals. Uh, we're adding what's it. So, let's see. Contents of the cargo rocket silo times negative one. Positives for what we do want in there. And then take all of that, multiply by negative one. Big negatives for... Uh, for the stuff that we... The signals that we want to ignore. Uh, anything greater than zero output, anything input count, and just like we've done in other places, multiply that by one for this stack size. Because the anything signal gives us only one signal as output. Uh, so basically, uh, this green wire is the difference between... Is, is the stuff that we're still waiting to put into the cargo rocket. Multiply that by negative one. And then if we have anything that's still positive, we know we've got too much of something. Alright, so we actually have 30 stacks available. This was closer than I thought. We're still trying to put in 13 stacks of stuff. Uh, so that's 17. We could take 340 media defense ammo, if we don't think of anything else. Should have put these on a separate thing. I can kind of see why I put these together, but let's put the defense stuff together. Umbrella, and tentatively, unless I think of something else, 340 media defense that way. Okay, which we are making right now. Where did I put it? I think I said I put the media defense ammo on the high priority side. Hmm. Why don't we put this here as well? It doesn't have any prereqs, right? Yeah, no, no prereqs. Kind of important to have this done. And umbrella. Why are we always stuck without fast splitters to make the express splitters? Are we not requesting them here? Uh, we're not, we're not keeping splitters here. Well, there's your problem. I'm amazed that we don't have trouble getting the fast splitters actually. Okay, 50, and 50, and create some rules that say we can have splitters here. Two stacks.
It seems like the priority system is mostly causing issues with this number of crafters. Uh, not really. The only, the, the problem with it is when we're down to the last few things that we're making on this side, uh, we only have one or two or three assemblers that are active. And unfortunately, I don't really have a way around that. I guess I could... I think, bef I think previously we've done a circuit that can get the count of signals. But it might have been lots of combinators. I think I think NG did that one. I don't remember solving it myself. Uh, let's see. Get minimum was definitely NG's. I don't think mine ended up working. Average of N signals. Uh, what have we got? Count max of N signals. Overwrite memory cell was mine. Get minimum accumulator charge. This is a device for figuring out how low the accumulator charge gets without just staring at it for an entire day. Count of signals. I'm not sure how we can do that. I mean, obviously with this thing, uh, I do have... Uh, I do have a device that separates the signals. So if we have, like, a signal here and no signal here, we know how many signals we have. But for something generic that gives us a number for how many different types of signals we get, uh, I don't know. But if we could do that, and hopefully without too many combinators, uh, we could say... If we're down to... If we're down to, like, one of these, then pass through seven of these, I guess. It would probably end up using way more combinators than I'd like. Ammo and turrets are kind of implicitly low priority. So we're going to end up doing those last on this block. Alright, how much ammo do we have? We don't know because we're still requesting media defense installations. We're actually almost done with those. Can we speed this up a bit? We're not bottlenecking on copper cable, are we? Like the actual product? I think we are. Because I only had this go to 200. And now we're Paying for it. That should actually be 1200. Also, the inserters can keep up. Not if I can help it. Give me some speed modules. There we go. And then get rid of that. Throw those back into the pit. Much better. Much better. But now we're bottlenecked on the inserters trying to keep up with these many, many inputs. But we only need two more. And then we're just trying to make ammo. 
much ammo do we even have? Oh, 185 already. That's good. You could do it by adding a combinator to each crafter to tell if it has a recipe. I'll put one for each and it will sum. Uh... Well, if there's a signal coming out of this, we know that the crafter has a recipe. We can also read from... if, if we couldn't do that already, uh, we could also read a recipe using a crafting combinator. Not that there's room to do that here. Um, but we'd still have the problem... Like, if I took red wire... Oh, red wire's actually going here as well. Hmm... Uh, if I took from the green wire and said if everything equals zero, then we'd know that there's no recipe here. But what exactly that I'd do with that and where I would put it is the question. It's very compact already, indeed it is. Yeah, I quite like the layout. Compactness really matters with this build because bots, um, the shorter the trip a bot has to make, the more efficient it is exponentially. They are way faster than belts or anything else for that matter if the trip they're making is incredibly short. They'll also use more energy. Uh, if it's a long trip. Okay, so in this rocket we have rail, stations, iron, copper, steel, glass, three kinds of circuit, heat shield, LDS, concrete. I didn't include stone brick, I bet we'll want stone brick for some assembly machines or something. Then again, it's relatively easy to make. Uh, there's lots of... It's actually not that much stone overall on this planet. We're going from one stoneless planet to another. No! Uh, did, did we bring stone brick? No, we didn't. I'm thinking it could be something like if prereq are complete or there are less than four recipes, then enable the low priority block. The thing is, uh, some of the things, uh, like the stuff, there's going to be a lot of recipes. A lot of the times, once the low priority block is enabled, and they're going to push whatever high priority thing is here out of the way. Alright, how's our ammo? I think I have to remove some stuff for stone break. Uh, I, I should of course make sure I bring a few stacks of various assembly machines and stuff at, that I'll hold on to personally instead of in the cargo rocket. I should probably plan more, but I really can't be bothered. Oh, we need to bring ice. Or I could just set up a... Maybe I should set up the resupply rocket before we go. True, if we use recipe count, then the high priority block will just turn itself off. Indeed. Do we have ice here? Uh, the thing is, I can reconfigure this from off-planet is the nice thing. So we can always just send another rocket with whatever. 
Uh, but yeah, let's, um... I should probably make a dedicated rocket for ice. We're not actually sending crinite rods anywhere. Maybe I should just make that the ice rocket. And this is too full already. Hey, okay. jeez. Um, alright, can we stop requesting Cryonite? Uh, how many stacks is this? 304. Uh, we need seven chests. Yeah, I think we'll just use this for ice for now. It's a deliver is a delivery cannon a viable choice at this distance? I haven't gotten this far in my playthrough yet. It absolutely is, it just costs more energy. Uh and it'll take longer to charge if we're sending it a long way. Where's our delivery cannons? Uh 676.31 megajoules. To send something, to send one stack of something from Nalvis to Hagen. But for something like resupplying, say, the things that we put together to make media defense installation ammo, uh, which is going to be very low throughput overall, uh, it's definitely arguably preferable. Cargo rockets are. Nice and easy, except for dealing with all of this. Um, you know, apart from dealing with the cargo rocket sections and uh, capsules and everything, uh, they're nice and easy for sending a lot of one thing each. But once you start putting multiple things in cargo rockets, it's a bit of a headache, especially if you don't want empty slots. Uh, inventory slots. It's only a single stack for the delivery cannon, yes. It is very uh, materially expensive for the amount of stuff that you move. Not to mention energy expensive. It's actually going to take quite a while to empty this. Um, I guess let's just set these to cryonite filter, and we'll request ice. Okay. because ice is what we know we're going to send at scale. Speaking of... What did we need up here? Electronic components. Uh, I think after we send this rocket with ourselves to Granus, I might shove it full of electronic components. We've only got 1.7k, but like, we've got a train delivering them. We've got more than a cargo rocket full of electronic components right here. So it shouldn't take that long to fill up, even if we're only requesting 5k at a time. All right. What more delivery cannon chests? Feed me more delivery cannon chests. On the way 45. Fantastic. Uh, I don't think we need to take delivery cannons. 
I definitely need to take these two. We're already doing that. Should probably take more belt, maybe. I'm going to do a pretty minimal build, but even so, it's going to be easy to run out of certain things. Research stopped. Yeah, it's been stopped for a while. It needs electronic components. Do you have a landing pad for the water ice? Uh, I do. Although, we should probably take more than one, now that you mention it. Um, I want probably... I mean, we're not going to go through water ice that quickly, but uh, I may as well send it in a cargo rocket of its own. But we'll need a separate cargo rocket for miscellaneous. Um, and I'm not looking forward to doing the logic for deciding what we send in the cargo rocket. Uh, we've done it before, it's not insurmountable. Probably just going to be a whole lot of wasted space when we resupply certain things. Trains? Uh, yeah, I should I should request some trains. I'll carry them myself. Locomotive. Cargo wagon. Uh... Make that 20. And we'll do float wagons as well. It should be overkill for our little outpost. How much ammo do we have now? Uh, enough to fill this up. Oh, I'll drop the request a bit. Actually, doesn't that stack to 20? And I might put that on the low priority end of things, actually. Stations and signals? Already got... Well... I haven't got signals. I'm not taking signals because we can make them easily. Uh, and at first I'm just going to use one train. Alright. We got plenty of copper and iron in here. Oops, I didn't mean to get rid of that. Uh, we need more locomotives. Make that real quick. Maybe take double inserters, but then I'd have to redo all of these later. Where can I pick up inserters from? Oh. There's really not that many. There's 214 inserters in here. Huh. Well, that's kind of a mess. I'm going to steal them from the construction train instead. They'll be easy to find. Inserters, here we go. Give me three stacks at least of each. And filters. 
And why don't we take some extra belt? I think we've probably got enough loaders. Or underground reds. Cliff explosives. 60 should be... Actually, how many cliffs are there here? Any cliffs at all? Mountains. So that's a yes. Yeah, there's cliffs. There's not that many. Uh, what else? Probably more power poles. And... I could maybe stop carrying the heat shield LDS personally. Oh, if I take... Uh, I was going to power this by solar, actually. I did compare the idea of nuclear... I think solar will be a lot easier, initially at least, despite the effort of uh, building it in the first place. Underground steel pipe, we'll definitely take more of that. Uh, chemical plants and refineries. Containers. I thought I was already carrying 20 of these. Oh, I see what's happening here. I think. There we go. And then... That red is Vulcanite, not Biters? Uh, yeah, there's zero biters on Grenis, thankfully. It's all Vulcanite. Anything else? I was thinking we need concrete because we need uh, to be able to make centrifuges, but... I think I'm just not going to bother with uranium there at this time. Okay, that's probably about it. Oh, what was the method for packing a lot of fuel uh, that was more dense than the alternatives? How are we making our solid rocket fuel? One iron plate, lots of light oil. So I guess iron plate is basically sort of our solid rocket fuel. Oh, I could take the iron as ingots. But I don't really feel like we can't make ingots here. We don't have the pyroflux, at least. Not in the kind of volume that we want to bother with that just yet. Yeah, we're still at only 38k pyroflux. We've been coal mining this whole time. Okay. Did you continue with Holmanite processing from last stream? Uh, we did research it, but I, I didn't continue designing it, if that's what you mean. Uh, what I did design off stream today was uh, the construction train loader. Uh, but I'm going to put off the Holmanite stuff. We're going to go make our first outpost. And I'm sure it won't be too long when we're, when we're in the process of making the outpost when we realize we have to wait for something or do some designing when that happens. 
Okay. Uh, is there anything else I want to take? Pump jacks. Do we have pump jacks in here? I don't think we do. Uh, let's see. 20 offshore pumps. Mineral water pump jacks. Oil pump jacks. Uh, they shouldn't need any special prerequisites. And haven't actually played with the quarry drill yet. What exactly is a quarry drill? 2.5 megawatts. Quarry drill. Where's that little patch? Whoop. Oh, it has to go on a specific resource, doesn't it? I think this is for Immicide or something. Yeah, no. So we don't need those. Not today. Tess? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's for the Immicide caves, I'm guessing. These things? Yep. There it is. Just press Q. It's kind of like a core seam. Only different. 2.5 megawatts. Wow, that's four coal mining drills in this this version. So Immicide is a bit more hardcore than I thought it was. How's our uranium here? Uh, we've still got some time before we run out of... Are these belts okay? Oh, there's no sulfuric acid? The sulfuric acid here. Missing required fluid. Oh, you're joking. That's why we have a line like this. Okay. Well, there's your problem. Alright, so we can expect 200k times... Point oh, uh, 0 0.7. Uh, 0 point, zero zero 0.007, that's uh, 0.7%, right? 1400 uranium-235. That's before productivity bonus over here. Of 30%. Uh, so we will be able to run our nuclear power for at least a few more minutes. Indeed. Um, are we ready? I think we're ready. Oh, uh, where are our space capsules? I mean, I know there's one included in the rocket, but... I wanted to take this one up to a cargo rocket up here. Oh, there's there's one waiting. Alright, cool. That'll be filled with ice by the time we want to launch it. Quite likely. Fantastic. All right. Uh, we don't need life support on a planet, right? That hasn't changed. It it better not. All right. Away we go to Granus. I might want to take an extra cargo landing pad. I almost forgot. Actually, let's leave that one there. Uh, that works. That's one way to find it. No, I need yet another one. Thank you, bots. So, one for ice, and one that's going to be for miscellaneous stuff. Unless I send it all by delivery cannon. Let's go.
what's the worst that could happen? Uh, we'll be stuck on Grannis for a while with not very good resources. Phalo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We landed quite a way away from where I want to build stuff. Uh, where do I want to put the solar panels? Over here? Might be good. Yeah, we can put a bunch of them here at least. Solar panels... What is that? A bit of destroyed cargo pod looks looked a little strange. Alright. I didn't bring logistic pods. Well, there's something. Okay, uh, we want something resembling a good ratio of solar panels that's going to fit under our substations. Uh, it should be somewhat similar to the vanilla ratio, which is like 80% solar compared to the... Uh, sorry, 80% accumulators compared to the solar panels. Uh, I'll need some accumulators first. Turn off my bots before I go back up here. We got something important, that's a start, indeed. Can we make some room here? Oh, I forgot to check this, but yeah, two fuel cells will last quite a while. Give me some accumulators. Take some stone. Give me some accumulators. Give me those solar panels. I don't want to go too far because... I want to run power back up this way so that the bots can sort all of that stuff. Huh, oh, that doesn't overlap the way I thought it would. Yeah, that's good. Uh, how good is the ratio, though? 36 to 20? We need more accumulators, and they don't fit in here. Thirty-two to twenty-nine. That's too many accumulators, I think. With the vanilla ratio, it's like one to point eight ish, and we know that our solar panels are going to be more powerful. Um, the day night the day night cycle is shorter as well. I don't know if that means overall more night time. But I think I remember a planet that had a long day-night cycle had a very long night. So we probably don't need as much... Why can't I... Can't reach? Really? Uh, I probably don't need as many solar panels as we normally would. I mean, accumulators. So... If anything, that might actually be a pretty good ratio. It's nice and easy layout as well. Whoa. Okay. No, 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 no. It's 20 by 20. I forgot how much our inventory is going to fill up with stone and coal. Probably should have shoved things in a box for starters. Four of those accumulators will be in two blocks, so you need to reduce the accumulator count by two. Uh, good point. That probably makes the ratio a little bit better.
All right. Let's double that and call it enough to run a few robo pots. Did I bring robo pots? Oh no. That might be fun to handcraft. Are we really this full already? All right, let's go back and shove some things in chests. Where's our crash site? Oh, there it is. Actually, right, first of all, I'm going to put all my stuff in here and in here. Stone can go here, coal can go here, turn these into storage chests. Do I have a robopot? Zero robopots, good job. Actually, don't make those two storage chests. Alright, let's grab more solar. At this rate I'll be able to pick up all of it. Uh, yeah, we're getting close. Alright, let's go just place this. I need the substations though. That can be chemical plants and stuff. Give me substations. And at this rate we might even run out of those. I did bring a couple of stacks of substations. How's our power network looking? Uh, I didn't see the peak, but I think it's over 50 megawatts. Yeah, we're going to run out of uh, lighted substations before we run out of solar panels, I think. Well, we're actually not going to have any trouble with stone as long as we're willing to go and pick it up. In fact, I'm already full again. Even though we've been dropping as much of our inventory as possible. Uranium. Uh, let's see. Stone. Coal, stone, coal, need another chest for stone already, fantastic, isn't there a mining vehicle that can roll over boulders and collect stuff, uh, I think that would be with AAI, which is not very UPS friendly unfortunately. Uh, can we make a robot pot? We need concrete. I didn't realize we need concrete for that. We'll be able to send concrete. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, this won't start loading until we have 100 cargo rocket sections. I'll just make a little backup of the list of stuff that we put in last time. And we'll fill this what with whatever we're missing here. 
Assuming that we can make a space capsule, we should be able to. Shouldn't be a problem. Let me just put the space capsule on this side, perhaps. Okay. Might be worth it to clear out some stone around with that many boulders, indeed. Uh, Robopod, we can have at least one. I think that's half of the concrete that we brought, though. Yikes. And I don't think I brought extra construction bars. Oh, we just cheated a bunch of power as well. Let's grab our big power poles, drag it back down to the solar panels. Can I see the minimap power connections? I cannot. All right, looking good. 96.4 megawatt already from the solar panels that I've placed. That's actually really good. The bots can be clearing it out over time too. Shopping list bots, roboports, substations, concrete indeed. Oh, this has more range than I thought it did. Although the bots going at long range are a bit slower. Oh, we're going to need more storage, probably. How much is this? 50 stacks. 60 stacks. It's more than a... More than a storage chest. I think we'll probably stop about here for the solar for the moment. It should be way more than we need for at least a little while. Let's get the media defenses up, or at least some of them. What's our power? 124 megawatts. Uh, as long as we don't have them all charging at the same time, we actually could put down all of those media defense installations. We're peaking at 145. I think it uses 20 megawatts when it's charging, though. So if seven of them fire, it's going to need all of our electricity. Wait, is that how short the day is? Hold on. 1.98 minutes. Jeez, that is short. So we're pretty much always on the slope for solar panels. Maybe we need more accumulators than usual. I, I kind of want to see what our peak power production is. Uh, 145 megawatts? Looks about right. I've never... Uh, the power grid... Uh, the power graph looks so different from usual. It's kind of hard to read.
Okay. Get that away from me. Fantastic. Hopefully that's enough storage. And I might take a little break right about here, actually. Let's get some words on stream going. So put down the media defenses down one at a time. Yeah, but if they all fire... Um... Wait, what? Oh, the copy-paste didn't... There we go. Uh, if they all fire, they're all going to recharge at the same time. Although, thanks for reminding me, I do want to put these down uh, as quickly as possible. Let's get some sutters. Get out of my inventory. Oh no, the oh no, my bots are giving me stuff. Oh no. Stop it. Uh we need a request a chest. Well, actually I'll just put a chest. Then again, yeah no, I will make it a requester. Oh we don't have any logi bots. Uh bad move. Flying robot frame requires electronic components. I don't think I brought those. Okay, let's just manually put these in here. And... It doesn't actually... Oh, we need pylons to go that wide. How about we just do it like this? I think I brought 12. And we're going to need some long arms. This is consuming 20 megawatt. Our peak is 140. So we could have like 7, if that. Let's just cancel those for now. Where are our cannons? I'm sure I brought more than this. Are they already in storage? Oh, here they are. Uh, Seafercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? I was going to take a little break, but I think I'll put that off for just a few minutes, at least. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Soulburn, good to see you again as well. Alright. Hopefully that's enough for now. And I don't suppose I can make... I could definitely make lamps. Substations... yeah, we could probably do that. Glass... Where's the glass? You're actually closer to emptying this than I thought. Oh yeah, I should have checked on energy beams. Uh, let's see... 
Heading for Nalvis in almost 24 hours. Heading for Sage. We're good. Alright. What am I missing here? Steel beams. Give me some steel. Where be the steel? Here it is. And now what? What am I missing still? More copper. Alright, let's go place some solar panels. Love factory search, indeed. I was just to say I'm in time. Oh, you're just going to say that for... for words on stream? Yeah, we'll start that in just a little bit. Uh, I want to hopefully craft enough lighted substations to place all of this. Oh my... Oh my inventory. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? We're doing it. Put some chests here. Till we can sort that out. Ideally, I'd like to get all of our solar panels placed and have enough power for all of our media point defenses, uh, sorry, media defense installations before we expand. They've already filled my inventory. At least we're not going to be short on stone anytime soon. I mean, I couldn't find a single place to... Oh, there we go. 535k stone. Like, looking around earlier, I couldn't find a single place to actually mine stone, but we've probably picked up half a million just from trying to place these solar panels. I'm only slightly exaggerating. There's our power poles here. I just want to make sure I've got enough. We've got another stack. I do wish blueprints could include priority levels for the buildings. Okay, so now, uh, now every solar panel we place is actually going to add to the network. It's very weird being on a planet with a two minute, um, solar cycle, but now we're starting to see it take shape in the graph. You can very see, clearly see the accumulator discharging. There goes night time. And drum roll. Here comes daytime. to see what our peak is up to now. Over 200? Nice. Over 240? Not just yet, I don't think. Once we peak over 240, we should be able to have all of the defense installations that we brought ready to go at the same time. I 
I did only bring five stacks of solid rocket fuel. That might have been a mistake. I can always make a fuel processor. We can't stop picking up coal everywhere we go. 217. We are tantalizingly close. Let's grab that blueprint. Beautiful. I think this is literally all of our solar panels and accumulators, right? So we're actually almost done placing them all. Still got over 50 substations, although I'm out of lamps. Probably shouldn't bother with lighted substations in the solar arrays, but what are you going to do? Have multiple types of substation out in the wild? Unforgivable. Substations, then Roboports, then the rest. Could split a blueprint to several. Indeed. But... I, I would prefer to just be able to put down one blueprint and, like, the bots will build the minimum number of machines and belts and stuff to get at least some throughput before they build the rest. For example... Or simply having the substations as a high priority than the solar panels would be really nice here. Okay, so what's our peak? It is well over 250, 260, 270, 280. Nice. We should be able to put down all of our media defenses and not have any worries there. Oops. Uh, this is in the wrong place. Not oh, pick a dollies that. There we go. And we need some yellow insetters. I see the bots have finished cleaning this up. Very good. Although they didn't pick up the trash. Not many pieces of trash here. Let's see how our power looks while these charge. Pretty good, actually. Although we're going into accumulator charge now because it's night time. Considering how short the night time is, uh, this looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, I think we'll get through the night time 
pretty comfortably with this ratio. Troop? Troop? What? Hughes Mike, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we're only going to get down to like 60% accumulated charge, I think. If that. Uh, one could argue we have too many solar panels. I mean, accumulators. Why do I keep messing that up? Uh, but that's fine. Especially when mainly we need a lot of power for media defense. Good to know, because it needs to work at the worst possible time. Yeah, definitely. Alright, uh, I might give it a save here. And we'll do the words on the stream. And Veldak will reappear. Uh, we'll start that in about 30 seconds. Hey, Veldak. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. You'll keep finishing levels early. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Make sure that's paused. Now then. Uh, got everything in our robot network. Let's get some more storage space if we can. Stone goes in here. Uh, coal goes... You know what? It would be great if I had brought literally any logistic parts. Um, how can I make electronic components? This is not something that I'm going to be able to handcraft a few of. Is it? Electronic components need silicon and glass. Uh, we could send a bunch of electronic components. Would have been great, yes. Do we not have... The autocrafter thinks it's finished. Space capsule. We do have a space capsule. Huh? Oh. Oh, the, the space capsule is in here. So why aren't we making... Cargo... Sections. Where are we doing the cargo sections? Uh, hello? This worked before. What signals are we sending here? If everything less than zero, which it is, output 1p. I'm not seeing the p input signal over here, though. So which is it? Oh no, we've got... Hold on. All of these signals are negative. For the inputs. Right? They're ordered by... Uh... By value. Oh, we've got a one signal for... How did this get in here? What the... Well, there's your problem. Why was the... How did I end up putting a signal for one magenta deep space splitter? Purple splitter equals one. Yeah. What the hell? Uh, so there we go. We'll get to making cargo rocket sections soon enough. Um, so first of all, I want to send some logistic bots. I also want electronic components. Uh, just in case we need them for something else. Actually, let's double check what they go into. Red circuit, solar panel, efficiency module. Uh, advanced chemical plant. Yeah, I don't actually think we'll be using those directly. Unless we want to make efficiency modules on the spot. Whatever. I'll send a few over just in case. Uh, concrete. I'm pretty sure we don't have any of that here. Not really. Whoops. Whoop. Nope, we're good. How much have we got here? Oh, 892. That's not so bad. Um... Maybe it wouldn't hurt to send more, though. What else did I forget? Uh, we could probably use more substations. And... 
Can't think of anything else right now. Robo pots, good call. Robo pots, say forty, and we'll send some more construction bots as well. You know what? I'd, I'd definitely rather send too many logic bots rather than not enough. And until we think of something else that we're missing out on, that'll do for the moment. Uh, we do ne need to send ice, but we can do that whenever we want. I know we brought enough rail. Uh, no? How much rail is this? I thought we calculated our rail so that we would just about have enough to do all of this immediately. Oh, yeah, it's actually only 2.1k. I guess when you take out all the roundabouts and stuff, uh, it's a lot less without the rail blocks. And we've only got a few signals. I'm simply not going to bother with them at the moment. We'll just have one train in the rail network until we're mass producing signals. I don't know why this didn't get placed. Can we maybe do it again? North, south. Something like that. Fantastic. I should really go pick up the windmills while we're at it. Or I could put solar panels instead. The solar panels look like they're bigger, but they're actually not. I think I brought like 50 windmills just because I happen to be carrying them. Maybe I should have brought a train just so I can drive up and back. What do you think about pie mods? Haven't uh, haven't tried it myself. Crunch, crunch. It's not exactly crunch. The walking sound. It's a little. Almost like sandy. Uh, if I waste some rocket fuel, we can do this a bit faster. I really should have done more before I came here to set things up, but I was feeling impatient. What is this? Okay, let's put down our depot again. And right about here is where I want our mall to be. Put down the uh, cargo rocket silo here. Wondering why the bots weren't building. They really go for all the stone first. Makes it look like they're not doing anything. I 
might just put down some chests here instead of going back each time. That looks like some kind of fissure that we could mine something from. system. We're still waiting on 69 cargo cargo rocket sections actually. Hmm. How many flying robot frames do we have? 58. What's the target? 200. No, I think we'll just go to one stack before we switch and try to make these. In fact, why don't I just put flying robot frames with the robots in the low priority section? Need some red belt over here. I need more construction bots. Uh, there's no more need for construction bots back here, is there? I should go pick them up without waiting. Bots. What else are we taking? Red belt. Sure. Oh, I completely forgot there's the... There's a tier 9 module in there waiting for us. Unless uh, the update changed something with that respect. Looks really weird. The ghost for the bulk rail loader. I'm really surprised that uh, we probably have enough rail to finish this. According to our estimate by looking at ghosts. We still haven't used even a noticeable fraction of a uranium fuel cell since we got here. Why, why isn't a bot placing this? Oh, don't tell me the roboports are empty. Okay, let's have a look at Hagen. And we are indeed making... Cargo rocket sections, or trying to. Does this come before the prerequisites? No, the prereqs should come first. That's weird. Uh, I think I doubled up on... Yeah, I did. Requests for space capsules. We're a bit ahead on that. My head hurts just looking at that. Uh, looking at what? 
Sparkles, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you give a tutorial for the crafting combis? Uh, sure. It'll be something to do while we wait for our bots to recharge a bit. Okay, so... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can't jump into editor extensions while... while this is happening. Uh, Dayskun, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The train stuff? Oh, you mean the depot? What's wrong with it? Uh, so the crafting combinators. Uh, the basics of it is... You read from a roboport to get the contents of the logistic network. And then... Subtract that... Uh, from... A big list of stuff that you want to craft. The auto wreck dependency handling. Okay, so here we've got all of the high priority stuff. Um, the stuff that we want to make before we start making this stuff. Basically, we're going to check everything less than zero. As in, contents of RoboPort subtracted from... Uh, sorry, contents of Robot Network subtracted from list of stuff that we want to make. If all of that is below zero, uh, robot network contents times negative one plus all of this, uh, then we're going to output P for priority or prereq. Uh, that's going to go to, if P is greater than zero, output everything input count and the other input for that combinator is all of these, which I didn't realize these two... oh, they're empty. Uh, and then, because we don't want to send a negative P signal to the crafting combinators, because they will take that as try to make a signal P, uh, we just have a negative signal for signal P on the other side so that it doesn't pass... well, it, this will pass through the neg uh, the value of 1 for p, so we just want to get rid of that. So that goes negative p into each greater than 0 output each input count so that no negatives pass through here, and then that basically goes to the crafting combinator. So for most of the things that require prerequisites, we're just relying on the ordering that comes from the item IDs, but that's for the exceptions and or priorities. Ace Moon, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now my brain hurts too. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Rayclaw, welcome, welcome, by the way, also. Up we go. I was going to say we could send more rail, but it'd be better to send more steel. And it's just steel beams and stone to make rail. Alright, that's all of it. Let's go start picking up the things that we want to turn into our mall. How much wind turbine actually generate? Uh, 20 kilowatts continuously. No ifs, ands, or buts. The wind turbines are really more just for Hagen, but 
I, I happened to have them on me, and they were part of that blueprint. Alright, let's take our uh, large buildings. Uh, where's our cargo rocket silo, I wonder? There it is. Take these as well. And combinators, rail things, some trains. Uh, what what few signals we have, I won't worry about yet. Where's the rest of our blue belt? Oh, I'm holding all of it? 300. I don't intend to do a whole lot of a whole lot with belt while we're here, but still. Okay. I think we would like to have stations like so. I don't even know if this will be a bulk loader territory. Or not. But it does kind of mark out where the train stops are going to be. I actually have three cargo landing pads here. Well, better too many than not enough. Um, why don't we do all of our inputs up here, maybe? We need some ice. I'll probably put the ice into the rail network. We're not going to need any ice at the at the at the mall, right? It's just it's just that we need ice um, for two things. We need it for oil products and we need it for nuclear power if and when we use nuclear power here. So let's put this over here. We'll put some loaders. Like so. And we'll just use this to balance it. Oops. Oh wait, no. That should probably be close because we need to use filter inserters. Water ice. And all the other stuff will have go back to the mall. Where should I do the train stop for that? We can actually put it here. That fits incredibly well. In fact, I could put this here. So this one will be not LTN, actually. Vanilla train stop. Uh, just like we have down here. That was supposed to be a vanilla train stop. What? What the? Oh, I thought this was a vanilla train stop. Never mind. Do we have those here? We do. How much? Oh. Uh, 
Ice Moon, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. I think I did, though. Oh, here it is. Train stops. Um, I should start moving some of this stuff over. And, uh, Philly, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Alright, let's just take all of that. And that. Are we going to be okay if we peek our heads into the, uh, into the pyramid? Probably. Oh yeah, I wanted to put this, uh, here. That's also not, that's also an LTN stop. God damn it. There we go. We need to decide a combinator to say if there's anything in this and this train stop has a train limit of one and not before. It did, but thanks again. Okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather say it twice than not at all. Um, alright, let's put our armor on. Uh, I'm loath to kill the charge of the Roboports, but what are you going to do? Oh, I need laser. And shields. The portable nuclear reactor can't keep up with the laser. So that's why we need the battery. Let's have a peek inside. I've got my destroyer capsules, so it shouldn't be that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely going to use them, though. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Oh, they chased me through. The destroyer capsules do. That shouldn't be too hard. How about this? Let the cheese commence. I need more I need better shields. Alright, I think we've got control and oh my goodness. Oh wow, okay. Uh, it might be a little hectic in there for where we're at with our tech level. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Maybe we should come back later. What's our robot limit? I think it's 30. Yeah, 30. Okay, oh, okay, we're not doing that again. Alright, okay. Okay. Alright. Nope, indeed. That was a lot tougher than I thought it was. Uh, why don't I use the Tesla gun, actually? I just gotta be really careful. Here we go. Nope. Okay. I don't know when they're running back and forth. Is the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're sitting at the entrance, we lose 80% of our shield. Just like that, if there's a couple of crab things. Hmm. I could try flying past them, but, like, I have no time to judge whether that's a good idea or not. It's definitely not right now. 
Do biters heal? Uh, yes, but not that fast. Like, if I come back later, they're definitely healed. Um, but we're definitely out healing them, if that's what you mean. So having they never played SE, what is the pyramid? Uh, it's full of biters and it's got a reward. Is pretty much all you need to know at the moment. There's actually a tier 9 module waiting in the middle of it. Oh god! No, no, no! Why? How, how did I even go back in? Uh, we're never getting that corpse back. Um, that autosave is looking through the navsat, right? R right? I actually don't know how I just went back in there. Hitbox was weird. Most of those biters are only a quarter hurt. Landmines or poison capsules might... Poison capsules would definitely be too slow. Um, what's the time here? 167 hours exactly. As opposed to... One six twenty five minutes. Mm. Although that does include, uh, that includes a, a little while where I was just taking a break, and we won't actually do. Why did it load? I pressed tab. Tab should not make that load. Okay. Uh, well, we've got this save. We can have a look. Auto save at 30 minute intervals? It might be. I, I actually have no idea how I stepped back in there like that. Yeah, we just haven't placed the rail. I think it would be less painful to repeat this than to, like, leave the corpse in there, and so on. Like, you saw that though, right? Like, I stepped out of the building, and then immediately I was in the building again. I didn't press up. I don't know what happened. Alright, do we have our bots? We've got 50. There we go. Uh, let's take our cargo landing pads and such. If we can find them. Combinators. Trains. Give me that stone brick. Wind turbines. Some belt. Some of this. Some oh, we're full. Can a 0% planet have an ancient temple? Yes, this is a 0% planet. Also, so are, are the biters always just fully evolved inside the pyramids? Because I don't think they're that evolved on Nalvis. Oh, never mind. I didn't, I haven't seen a single, like, full-sized biter before just now. <laughs> like, that's literally the first we've seen of it. Uh, Koha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, one, two... Three. 
Rampant and fully evolved biters. We had to switch Rampant off. Uh, because on Nalvis, the UPS went from 60 to 20 in less than a minute. All of a sudden. And as soon as we turned Rampant off, it was back to normal. Unfortunate. Alright, let's dump our trash in here for now. That's not much trash. There we go. Scrap as well. Groundhog Day? <laughs> oh no. Pick up all the stones so the bots don't have to pick it all up. Oh, and speaking of which... The first outpost is always the slowest. are tired. Alright, while we wait for that to recharge, let's jump back to, as I said before, there would be some times when we have to wait. Now let's do some design work. So this was Holmium, uh, and surprisingly we stumbled on a perfect ratio for iron beads without even trying. Uh, also crushed Holmanite. I think the last thing I did was connect these half belts. And I was looking at it like, surely we could do better with the layout, just for the aesthetic of it. But looking at it today, it's really not that bad. So let's see. Uh, 16 Holmanite per second goes in, which is actually most of a stack. Uh, exactly zero ratio for crushed Holmanite and anion iron exchange beads. We tried to do the chest to swap out the recycled items uh, in the middle with the chemical plants, but the layout didn't work that well. But considering how often trains are going to have to come here, uh, we're really not at a premium for space with this build. So this is probably pretty much it, to be honest. Um, can we maybe... Oh wait, what's going on here? We need some hydrogen chloride for testing. Hydrogen chloride's supposed to come in up here. Let's see. Oh, that is... That's beautiful. What about on this side? That's still pretty good. I don't love that it has to go through where the train stop is, but it's not that bad. All right, and I'll, for the moment I'll just void the output so we can see if everything's working properly. You should use Blueprint Sandboxes mod. It's as proper SE support, even for space surfaces. Really, that's impressive. Uh, GP Dilka, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I need to void the dirty holmium water as well. Should we process that in the same block, or is there a reason to do it anywhere else? Dirty 
Holmium water. Uh, we can turn it. That's interesting. If we put it into a flare stack, we get a little bit of stone out of it. Um, but we could instead put it into a filtration plant and get back... Oh no. Oh no, this, uh, this block just got a lot more complicated. Crushed Holmanite and Anion Ion Exchange Beads uh, need to be recycled from the dirty water. And it really doesn't make sense to do a rail block for dealing with the dirty water. Um, well, that's basically just this belt. Hmm, how many do we need? We're getting 32 dirty holmium water per second. Filtration plant. Uh, filter dirty water holmium. This is up to 25 per second. So we only need one. No, wait, we need two. Don't know why I thought it was less than 25. So we're all, we already have a stone output that we have to deal with as well. I think we will have... Can we fit that there? Not if it goes in the usual spot. Unless I push this over to the right more. It's not like we're going to be... Uh... Oh, actually. I was going to say, it's not like we're going to be trying to keep this on one side of the block. So that we leave room for expansion. Not this time. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't... That's so close to working out. Uh, I guess we could do it like this. Make a little exception. Uh, that needs to be wider. Never mind. I very much doubt that this is going to work. It does not. Alright, I didn't like the look of it anyway. So the whole block has... Two physical outputs, right? Holmium chloride and stone. And... A wild Dave that streams. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, it's just... Holmium chloride and stone. For the outputs, ultimately. So we can put the stone output over here. In the usual spot. Which means it won't be that big of a deal getting it from here. Um, this is a little awkward though. Can it fit under the beacon? It can. Actually, we could put it up here. So these two are just going to come down like this. What's our max rate for this stuff? Only four per second. Wow. Except we're probably going to find... I could actually do a pair here. Except there wouldn't be room for the exchange chests. Unless... No, unless. There wouldn't be room because we don't have room for the inserters on that side. Hmm. 
I could have it give stuff back to itself. It's not going to look great. The, th the thing I'm thinking about is the... Uh, the crushed Holmanite and Ion Exchange beads that go back to here. Are they going to be enough? That we're going to wish we could put some more chemical plants up this way. 32 dirty Holmium water. Oh wow, that's really, really slow. Oh, it's actually negative? Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, this needs beads. It's actually negative on beads. Well, that's not helping. I kind of want... Uh, we can't fit it up here somewhere, but I kind of want the filtration plants at the start of these belts. But there isn't... Oh, hello. I was going to say there isn't really a place to do that. Unless. If we belt like, uh, if we pipe like so rather. And there's going to be just enough room for this. We need the beads input. Oh, don't tell me we're one off. Oh, no. That's tragic. We could have a little splitter for the beads input. But then we're going to have... A crushed Holmanite sitting on the belt forever. On this side, we could do the beads just stolen from this belt. Hmm. Hmm. I can't exactly priority put the beads on the belt from here without a splitter. At this rate, I'm going to have to have the output from these cycle all the way back up here. I hate it, but what are you going to do? Actually, maybe I don't hate it that much, because if we... If we go up this way and do a priority input on the right side, that's actually going to be all it takes. Oh, and it outputs water? 80% water. I think that just means we pump water back up here and the overall rate of consuming water is slower. So it's not going to be a problem to deal with it. Even if it was, we could just use a flare stack. Let's see. So water... Uh, is going to go here, actually. That's not that bad. We're already using a train to drop it off, so there's always going to be empty space available uh, for the water to output. So then, stone output is going to look something like this. Oh, that's tragically close. Wait, wait, we can do it this way. Hmm. 
then we need to make sure we emulate stuff being on the same side of the belt. So beads on the left. need a splitter to merge it and preserve the sides. Or we could just do it like this. I was going to say we could end up with one input blocking the other. Uh, maybe. Alright. A couple of filter inserters. Uh, crushed Holmanite. And beads. Beads go on the left. And this will be inverted with the inserters. Wait, that's far side. That's near side, right? There we go. I'll just double check again. The rate for these is vanishingly slow. So this has input priority up here. And it's also incredibly slow, so we should have no issues with that. Uh, stone is going this way. It's also incredibly slow. And that's going to go over here. Well, it could go down here, but I think it'll... I, I generally prefer the primary output to be down this way. Alright. Fantastic. Limit this to one cargo wagon. Belt stuff from this side to this side, and we're going to allow short trains and long trains. We're still going to have a provide stack threshold for a long train. And we don't need any fancy circuitry to balance this. Anything that's slow enough, this will work, and anything that's faster, we could do it like this. Cool. Why are we negative on Holmanite, uh, crushed Holmanite here? But not, I just didn't write calc enough. So, even pretending that we do need, that the two filtration plants are going to consume at full speed, which they're not, uh, that is 16.3 out of 16.5. It's really, really close to a perfect ratio still. I could just add a couple of chemical plants up here. And crushed holmanite is actually ever so slightly positive. I think I will add these two. I mean, look how well they fit. You could say no to that. Pipe on the left doing nothing question mark? Uh, true. Thank you. 
it's also kind of hideous. Let's bring these back here so it's a bit clearer what's going on. And stone has to go way over here. Kind of feel like using some blue belt, even though this has been red so far. It's not going to be that much neater. Close enough. Okay. Now why aren't we testing this right now? What's the problem? Well, our output on stone is full here. What? Oh, it's on a blacklist. Why was it on a blacklist? We're not dealing with the water. Oh, I see. That's fine. Or we could do it like this. Uh, I like this better. And I'll just double check. Hold me in. The dirty water is really slow. So it doesn't. The shape of the pipes don't matter. Okay. So why isn't this moving? Because this is saturated. And it's not moving because... Oh, this isn't getting exchange beads. Hmm. Hmm. Is there a way I can do this without leaving... Wasted, crushed pulmonite on the belt? Like, the obvious way to do it would just be to bring the beads down this way. But... What if instead... What if we were to... That's going to be on the wrong side of the belt either way. Hmm. Unless... Oh, hold on a minute. No, if I bring this belt down to, like, loop around back into this thing... We're just going to end up with lacking room to put this onto the belt. Which is a shame because it would otherwise line up very, very well. Mine Mousecraft, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. I think we're just going to end up Accepting a little bit of crushed hormonite stuck on the belt. Because I can't see a good angle to do otherwise. Unless... This is fine. 
It's fine. That's what we'll pretend. It's a pretty neat build, at least. Considering all the steps that go into it. Oh, we're not outputting the beads? Why is this a blacklist? How did, how did this happen? Wait, was that the switch that I hit when I hit meant to hit this switch? That's so weird. Okay then. I think that is working. Let's do the station names and stuff. Actually, uh, why don't we jump back to building? Um, I kind of forgot we were doing that. The bots are getting weirdly slow to respond and inconsistent. Sabolks, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I do wish I could jump to editor extensions while the bots build. Unfortunately, the bots will get teleported to the, the, the Shadow Realm if I do that. We'll keep this up until our RoboPort batteries are low again. And we need to grab our... Blueprint and fix this. There we go. So what do we do with holmium um, chloride, I wonder? It literally just goes into Holmium Powder. We add copper cable to it. And we get double the Holmium Powder out. Centrifuge or Radiation Facility. This is literally the only function for it. We should probably try to fit that in the same rail block. I imagine we're not going to need a whole lot of centrifuges to keep up with this. It does mean we have to add copper plate to the LTN requests. Uh, but that shouldn't really be a challenge to deal with. We've probably got enough space left over. Oh, we actually finished here. Okay. As much as I've got more outposting to do, I'm kind of curious now. I want to see the rest of this build. But first we'll deplete our uh, RoboPort batteries or finish placing this rail. Should have checked on Hagen as well. What are we up to here? Uh, flying robot frames should be here. Oops. And I think I moved. No, that should be fine. Hmm. 
Okay. We are trying to make cargo pods, but for some reason we're not making... Sorry, we're, we're trying to make cargo rocket sections, but for some reason we're not trying to make cargo pods or rocket fuel tanks first. We've got 11 cargo pods. We've got 14 rocket fuel tanks. Don't tell me I forgot to... I think I did. That's why we got a few of these made and then it stopped. Yeah, we need to request and allow cargo pods and rocket fuel tanks. And did I not whitelist the iron chests and stuff? I did. There's no more room to add them up here. Okay. Cargo pod. Negative. And rocket fuel tank. So that'll just... We're requesting those things in here and we're telling uh, this requester chest not to throw them out. Unless that we end up with lots of them. Cool. That's how you make some cargo rocket sections with the auto crafter. Right then. That should mean our cargo rocket to resupply us up here will be ready. Probably before we desperately need it. Alright. Apparently I'm out of big power poles. That pyramid, though. Alright. Where be the big power poles? Here we go. Me all that belt. These as well. Alright, let's see if we can't finalize that build. Oop, but away go the bots first. Do I have enough belt? I think so. We don't have enough uh, underneath these, actually. Okay. So, just to check again, Holmium uh, Chloride literally only has one use, no matter what tech level we have. We add copper cable to it and we get Holmium Powder. So we don't want to put it straight into this. And the question now is... Uh, can we fit enough centrifuges to keep up with it? And I'm thinking probably. Oh, it's not going to fit under the beacon. We can make it fit under the beacon, but for now I want to know the ratio without the beacon. Uh, we're already... literally one machine is going to keep up with these. Alright, that's cool. So I think we'll put it here. And we need some copper... Um, we either need to run the copper from all the way up here, or we need to have a drop-off for it in a convenient place, like this perhaps? Not quite. 
I could maybe do... Well, no. But I was going to suggest... Having a short train drop off the copper plate here. But the short train would still stick out in the way of this one. So I don't really want to do it that way. It really is looking like... Well, the stack size of Holmanite is incredibly small. So maybe we shouldn't share up here. It would also mean we'd have to get rid of this delivery cannon chest and it wouldn't look as neat. Can we put our train stop here? We can. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure we need barely any copper. One copper cable per second. Uh, where's our assembly machine? There it is. So this is three times what we need. We need 0.5 copper plate per second. That is a very small amount. I wish we could fit that uh, single, that short train right here elegantly. I could put the drop off down this way, but again, those belts are in the way. And pipes. And I don't want to move it over more than one tile because look at that fit. So I guess... I think we will do a short train. copper plate. Just need to make sure there's room. And I'm just going to put it cozily close up here instead of putting this down here in the middle. Yeah, I think I like that. So this is going to be a requester for copper plate. And we're just going to request a bit more than a train load, say one and a half, uh, one and a half cargo wagons of copper plate, because the rate that we're going to consume it is going to be very slow. So then, just for testing, copper plate. Maybe have a blue belt down here. Yeah, that looks good. Then these two... Oh, that just barely doesn't reach. Seriously? Bruh. About this then. So why have we stopped right now?
Oh, is water full? Water output is full. Are we cheating water? No? We are net negative on water here, right? Yeah, we're net negative on water. Even if we just have one of these, it or, or zero for that matter. It should be net negative on water. Yeah, negative 105 before we add the filtration plants. Oh, but these are positive on water. This is 40 per second. Uh, we should be comfortably negative on water. No matter what. So I'll put this at exactly not 100%. And I think that's our build. Ezria, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morning. All right, we're limiting this to one cargo wagon, but we're pushing from here to here. And we're allowing short or long trains to pick up. That's going to become our standard. I do have a few builds that I have to do this to retroactively. And same thing over here. So this is active provider. High priority to get rid of it because it's a byproduct. Short or long train. We'll still wait for the 80 stacks though. So this is for stone, this is for powder, but oh, that's imosite powder, holmium powder, uh, up here the station name is requesting copper plate so that we can make uh, what was it called? What's that building called? I always blank on the name for like two seconds. Centrifuge. So that we can make holmium powder. Let me just double check something. Holmium powder goes into ingots this way or Molten Holmium with Pyroflux. Alright, yeah, we definitely definitely want to deal with that in a separate block. Or two, depending on if we have Pyroflux at the time. The inserter seems to favor one side, so I think we'll use a loader here. The PTSD with Holmium, damn spaghetti mess, and the water kept filling, because who knows why, indeed. We're bringing the water in by train, uh, so it should never be full. Um, Alright, and up here we have a request for... whoops. Uh, Holmium, where is it? Holmium and hydrogen chloride, so that we can make it eventually. Centrifuge makes powder. And up here, I don't know, should I name that for Holmium Powder? I think I remember finding that Nitric Acid goes into like one thing. Or whatever the... it's literally one thing. 
Oh no, that's how we make it. Yep. But... Oh no, wait. No, that's why we're getting it from the rail network. It does go into a bunch of things. Was it the iron beads I was thinking of? I know there's a couple of recipes for these at least. But not the kind of thing we ship into the rail network. Definitely. Okay. I mean, I could output it over here and like put it, make it available as a low priority, but I don't think we need to do that. So this is... Plastic. Rhinite rod. And water. And nitric acid. And again, it's eventually going to a centrifuge to make cobalt powder. Hi, the top left is there holmium on the wrong side. Oh, how did this get here? Was this a one-off while I was editing it? Or is there actually... a problem? Let's trace this back. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Yeah, whole meme is coming up here to be recycled. And then it's going through here, and some of it's going up this way. I could solve it with a splitter here. Is that the most elegant way to do it? I don't really want to change this part. I think we probably do do it like this oh no the most compact way to do this is like that but the train stop that would that we did as short as possible up here is in the way sad could do it this way i guess Beads on the left. I don't love that, but I don't know what alternatives we really have. I mean, it's definitely functional. And we need to input priority left side in this case. It'll have to do. Yeah, this and this and this it doesn't look that clean and neat. But considering this build, I don't know how you would do much better. Schnutsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Wow. Okay. I think I'll move this belt like that so it's clear that it's not connected. And yeah, I think that is basically our build. Let's make sure our power is connected properly. Uh, 
I need to get this out of the way. And I think the rest of this is legit, except for like that. And put in some lighted substations. That one looks a bit weird. Why don't we start again with the power? Now that the build is pretty much complete. Yeah, see? That's that's a bit more succinct, shall we say. Hmm, I don't love that. Hmm, what about here? Yes. And then up here. And then that sucks, actually. Mm, bad. Uh, that spot was for a beacon. Now these two wouldn't be beaconed. Oh well. I don't think we'd need a beacon for these two, even if we upgraded all this. Oh yeah, I guess when we have wide area beacons, the substations are going to be upgraded as well. That's why this was here. Can't connect that to both. Let's just do that. Do that, damn it. Uh, how about this? That's not too bad. Okay, it's bad, but it could be worse. I think this is about as neat as this build was ever going to be. Not too bad. Okay, so that is Holmium Powder. Snap to grid, 86.24. Train stop names. Uh, now I doubt that I named these properly. But I did name them properly. Snap to grid, 86.24. Not fully powered? Nani? Oh, true, thank you. How about... this? Perfect. And get rid of the cheat items. Not that we would be able to build them in the main game. Basic all be um powder. Double check the snap, looks good. And I think we'll put our exotics all next to each other. Okay. That's some designing. Let's get back to building, uh, which means we need to start ferrying over more of our stuff. Let's make some room. I need to run power from here to here as well. Let's just pick this up until we're full. And 
this sort of thing goes in here. went too far. And make room in inventory. At least there's a little silver lining to not having logistic pots. Speaking of which, we should probably check on Hagen loading the cargo rocket. Oh, there's no shift C here. Alright, let's have a... Oh, it's full. Or at least it's ready to launch. Da... water drop? Uh, da water drop. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're looking for concrete, logistic bots, electronic components, and substations still. Oh, yeah, we're still loading substations, actually. Okay, let's grab some more stuff. That is faster than expected. Alright, that's actually everything but stone. And drop it all in here. Big things this way. And chemical plants and refineries, assembly machines, solar. And one more trip to pick all this up. Next, I'd like to move the media defense installations as well. Oh wow, that's that's a lot of stone. Also, I forgot to clear out the steel that I didn't realize was in my trash slots. That would probably help. Where are we going? There we go. Alright, don't need RoboPod here anymore. Uh, I do need to go pick up some big power poles and run them over here. And where be the big poles? Can I make more? We need glass and copper, right? Glass, copper, steel. We're still missing what we need for lamps. Iron plate. Okay. Turn the rest of that into substations. Fantastic. Okay. Let's pick all these up. And then hurry up and replace them. Before a media lands on our solar panels. Big power poles. 
straight to the left. Activate is what I would say if I didn't throw my bots in a chest somewhere. Where are our bots? Oh, here they are. Okay, you can stop now. Uh, do we not have bots? What the hell? Oh, right. We have built this. It's just the ghosts of the uh, wind turbines. There we go. Okay, let's put the media defenses nice and close to the ball for now. I think we've got enough cliff explosives to not stress about that. And long arms like so. Yellow inserters like so. Substation, like so. And ammo goes here. And I'll just double check that's all of the ammo. There's more over here, actually. 206. Alright, how's our power? 291 megawatts, nice. Very good. Hey Tsugan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. We're still loading our cargo rocket, we've got bots, we've got power poles, we've got some concrete coming in. And... Wasn't I gonna... Oh, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's bring some construction bots as well. And what else do we want to deliver while we're at it? I think we should just start building until we figure that out. I want an oil block, preferably close to an oil patch. There's a really, really good oil patch down here. About this spot. Let's grab our stuff and see if we can't build that or how much of it we can build. I'm sure we're going to be missing something. Let's find out what it is. We need to get our cargo rocket that receives water ice set up. Um, I think we'll do that here. 
let's see. LTN station. Two, three, four, five. Goes here. Why am I taking damage? Oh, there's uranium hidden there. 17,000. Uh, it's only 17k, but I don't love the idea of... Especially if I don't see it and fly over it. Um, yeah, I might... I might move this block. It's also on top of a... Um, a bit of vulcanite as well. We don't have to have the, the uh, station like practically on top of the crude oil. All right, how about... I don't think it's going to line up that well to not stand on top of a mine. Unless I go back here. Seems good. I have no doubt we're going to need a whole bunch of rail. But I keep coming back to this. Uh... Stone equals rails. Stone is everywhere. We just have to use steel to make beams. Let's go set that up real quick. I should probably set up a little auto crafter as like a standard thing when we first come to a planet. Uh, but for now... Let's see, steel, beam, and rail. And it would probably be easier if we just take the steel straight from here. And we'll grab some string. Fill that up. And there's our rail. So if we need more rail, uh, we'll send more steel, basically. Why is this not powered? the ratio here? Uh, very bottlenecked on this. I didn't bring speed modules. I should have. Do it the old-fashioned way. That's 120 rail already. That's still pretty fast. Alright, let's let these bots catch up. Drop off the stone and coal. And head back down here with our rail, I guess. What is this? 170. How much do we need for this? 1.2k. But there are other things we need to build. We'll focus on that first. There's my steel chests. Okay. Let's build what we can.
Should try and minimize the bots having to travel to give me this stone. It feels a little weird going from Hagen, where stone is actually kind of precious, to stone just constantly filling up my inventory. But at the same time, actual stone mines are very few, small, and far between overall on this planet. Bots are tired again. Alright, let's let them recharge. And maybe we'll figure out some other build that we could be sorting out ahead of time. Um, even though we don't have access to it yet, why don't... Since we just did Holmium Powder, let's do one of the other ones. Uh, is it Iridite and... Uh, iridium powder and beryllium powder. Uh, judging by last playthrough, beryllium powder should be fairly similar to holmium powder. But I expect a bit of a remix. Uh, beryllium hydroxide is a fluid and it makes powder and water. That goes in a chemical plant. Beryllium powder, beryllium hydroxide, a uh, cryonite rod, sulfate. How do we make the sulfate? Beryl plus sulfuric acid. Do we not use a crusher for this one at all? A uh, pulverizer? So barrel itself is going to come from the rail network. Or is it? I mean, we're, we're bringing in holmium from the rail network. I don't see why not. Delivery cannon. Landfill. Matter. Comes from core mining. Uh, comes out of... Matter fusion, barrel from matter, and yeah, okay. Barrel is way easier. That's what I'm seeing so far, yes. Uh, there's not even any beads involved. Is this actually it? Okay, what about iridium? I'm guessing iridium is the one that's going to be pretty similar to this. Uh, we'll put that aside for the moment. Powder. Iridium blast cake. We need enriched vulcanite. Uh, and a centrifuge. Okay. Iridium blast cake. And just to be clear, that is literally the only thing that iridium powder goes into so that's probably going to go like down here if if these two are sort of similar but slightly different with the layout we'll see working backward from there iridium powder Uh, iridium powder is a byproduct of crushed nacrotite, but this is the recipe we're interested in. Um, it's looking very similar, more or less. Hydrogen chloride, crushed iridite, red beads, and also nitric acid. 
So it's going to be like this, but worse, because we have two fluid inputs. Um, but actually... Yeah, I think it's... So we're recycling these two, just like we're recycling these two. I think it's literally going to be this, but slightly worse. Because we need the two fluid inputs. Is in for a treat on this one, indeed. The plates have a great stack size of 200 unless K2 changes it. Interesting. Okay, iridium powder. So this pipe layout isn't going to work. Output pipes are the same. Uh, output of whitelist is basically the same. Uh, filter inputs are going to be the same. Just set filters blacklist. And we're going to blacklist the main output product. Everything else goes into these chests. Uh, if there's anything in these chests, we don't pick up that thing from the belt. And then we're going to have to use up a bit more space in order to manage... Is there an input missing here? No, there isn't. Oops. In order to manage the dual fluid inputs and also have a filter input for this, we're going to have to have something like this. And on the other side as well. Do I want it? Which way do I want it to be symmetrical? Do I want it to look like this? Then we've got different fluids on the top side. Or do I want like short one for hydrogen chloride and long one for nitric acid? It all depends on what it looks like when we go to do the pipe inputs. Uh, I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult to have a beacon in the middle of this as well. Does it matter? Yes, it, it definitely does. Oh, uh, that one little complication of otherwise an identical layout makes it so much worse to deal with, with an for, to try to have a nice layout. What's the rate for four of these? Two iridium powder per second. It's twice as fast. So, what, what's it consuming? Uh, net two anion beads. The an uh, the beads are a very different ratio. This one's nice and whole numbery, whereas this one. We're net consuming two crushed iridite per second with four of these. Uh, so that's the same. But for the beads, we go from... Uh, two recycled consume four to... Four consumed, but 2.64 recycled. That's awkward. 
not whole numbery indeed. Uh, but yeah, it looks like all other things being equal, like if we needed about as much holmium as iridite, uh, we could actually have half as many machines. So it might be possible to have a nice... Oh, we can fit this anyway, I think. Except this thing fits uh, the pulverizers and the filtration plants as well. Can we go that far? Probably not. How far out does this go? Well, that does beacon these two. It's going to be even wider than this, though. I just set up a separate setup for the beads and train them in. What's the stack size for the beads? 200? Oh. Yeah, you could definitely... I mean, it feels weird uh, to make a train for something with so few things that consume it, but yeah, stack size 200, that is definitely making a case for using a train. Okay, so presumably we need twice as many um, pulverizers to keep up with this. Hold on. Yeah, we do. Wait, what? Oh, that's the wrong recipe. Dup. Let's see. Why you gotta be like this, Erudite? Okay, granted, I'm consuming about 6k beads a minute. Oh, it doesn't really change the decision-making for the layout, right? In that case. Lunar Bite, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so this is still net negative, actually. On crushed iridite. Really? Don't tell me we need, like, 5 to 8 with the ratio. Yuck. Uh, th this one was so, ne so neat with the ratios, and this one's, like, the same thing but different, and it's gonna be so gross. And that one extra fluid input because of the chemical plant layout is going to be so much more nasty. Boo, erudite. Oh, these are large storage tanks? Oh, I turned off the RoboPod. Just move the crushed? What do you mean? Oh, I'm trying to put it under, so it would fit under one beacon though. If I can. Uh, wow, we're actually out of... We still need 12 huge storage tanks. I thought I brought extra, but I guess I miscounted. Yeah, but... Srush? Srush it at the time? At the mine. Crush it at the mine. Nah, I don't like that. Unless the stack size is really unfavorable, which I guess it is. With that logic, we're looking at redoing Holmium as well. Uh, what was I coming here for? Oh yeah, I need to make some... I 
need to make some huge storage tanks. What was it, like 12? 12. Okay. You'd have trains clogging up rails trying to fill requests. Uh, it depends on where we put them. Like, if we, if we put that right next to a depot and right next to the one thing that consumes it, it's not nearly as bad. And it also means that we could... I was just thinking about storage. Raw Holmium, raw Iridite are going to come from infinite sources directly. I'd rather not process them before storing them and potentially uh, trashing them. Not to mention we can't make landfill out of everything. It, uh, landfill... let's see. Yeah. Uh, beryl, homonite, homo iridite, and so on. If we, if we train it in that state, uh, when it's coming from the infinite source, if we have too much of it, we can put it into storage. If we have way, way, way too much of it, uh, we can turn it into landfill. And if we have way, way, way too much even of that, we can start throwing it into the crusher. Um, but if we process it into something else before we even put it into the rail network, we don't have that luxury. What am I using the iron for again? Oh yeah, pipe. That's a lot of handcrafting. 5, 10, 11, 12. We're still trying to make these 12? Why would you turn Holmium and Iridite into landfill, even if you core mine it, Iridite has bad core mining from my understanding? Uh, because maybe I end up with Iridite backing up regardless. Last playthrough, uh, Iridite went from being scarce to being massively overabundant to being scarce again compared to our how much we were consuming it. Uh, if it blocks all of the other resources that we would be getting out of coal mining it, then it blocks all of those other resources and we want to void it. Um, preferably after storing a whole bunch of it before we resort to that. Um, but yeah, you don't want to be... You don't want to be stopping... Oh, we need a lot more pike here. Uh, 127 and 40. Damn, that's actually a lot. I'll automate it up here. You don't want to be stopping the flow of infinite resources because you unexpectedly backed up on something. Uh, let's get... Let's just do the usual pipe setup. Right about here. One, two, three. And pipe. Underground pipe. We need some power. And then a bit of wire here. Pipe greater than... 
100. Greater than equal. Might just limit that to a few stacks. And this as well. Last playthrough, you had 7 million coal miners on a planet? Yes. I like coal miners. I absolutely despise having to make mines uh, over and over again that are temporary that I have to come and rip up later on and then make even more mines. Uh, I like getting enough coal mining throughput that I can either minimize that or just not even have to do it. Okay, uh, that is going to give us our pipes. I'm not going to worry about the... Let me do a decom planner for this. Oops. Wind turbine. Uh, we don't really need the wind turbines on this planet. Fantastic. Okay. Coal mine equals Craigasm, the pollution dance game. Uh, we have zero biters though. On Rennes, on Hagen. We don't have zero biters on Nalvis, but it's felt like we have zero biters there for a long time. Yatu Watu, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. No bite is no problem, indeed. And that includes no UPS problem from the biters. Okay, uh, what else are we doing? Uh, I'll... I never ended up packing those pump jacks. Can we do that now? We're actually finished loading this so far. So let's add pump jack. Did we get around to making the pump jacks though? The answer is yes. Though apparently we only had... Oh, no, there it is. We have 21. Uh, how many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's like our best oil patch that I've seen. It's only 10. Oh, here's a good one. 12. 6. 10, 12, and 6. That's less than 20 so far. 22... That iridite kind of looks like oil patches. Uh, yeah, I think... Just bring like 40... Uh, oil pump jacks and that should cover everything we're going to do. We only really need the oil for the cargo rockets, I think. For the liquid rocket fuel. Seems good. Let's grab some... Have I actually used up all of my train stops? Or... Oh yeah, because the, the depot has quite a few of them. Uh, okay. I need lamps and wires. Give me some copper and glass. And we're still missing nothing actually. Seven million seems a lot. It's at least seven. Does pet bite account as a Polish population for Nalvis? Uh pet bite accounts as 
goodest white population. T-Hex is in the future, indeed. Alright, uh, while we wait for this crafting and stuff, let's do some more design. I'm really liking that I can flick to this at times like this. Um, so ideally I would like to have eight machines. I guess if we do them vertically like this, it's not that difficult. But how many pulverizers do we need to support it? Uh, we're looking at eight per second crushed. And that is... 14 machines? Is this a joke? Did I... Did I miscalculate something? Oh no, it's net, it's net 4. Net 4 crushed iridite per second. Uh... Even so, that's 7. I know it's going to change a bit when we get prod modules and stuff. But still... Maybe we could put the... What, how does a basic beacon fit between these? It just barely covers with six. I think we'll get six of these. And put those on the side. Unless... We end up rotating it like that. Maybe... Probably, actually. Something like that. That's looking... Oh, wait. We can't reach across that. Oh, yuck. Oh, no. So is this gonna do like a snaky thing? Like output from here is gonna go over here? I guess. It should probably snake uh, this way though. Because we're gonna need the beads coming in from the right. Okay. Uh, I hate how much room these pipes take up. And this goes here, actually. Mm. Oh, there's no... Yes, there is. There's the dirty water output we have to deal with. It's going to be pretty much the same thing, right? So instead of... Uh, what's this recipe called? Filtered dirty water, whole name. Uh, we're going to have filtered dirty water... Uh, crushed iridite. And it's literally the same recipe, but with different stuff. One, 100, 30%, 10%, 60%, and 80 water. Alright, so could we maybe fit this like so? Or something? Probably. I could even put this over here if I wanted to. Or one of them. It's gonna be looking a bit weird. Oh, I could put this here. Except that input belt is gonna be having trouble. Um, but you get the idea. Something like this.
All right, let's start trying to figure out how this is going to look in the rail block. First, we have nothing but iridite. We will need uh, hydrogen chloride, just like we did over here. So I think so far that's going to be the same. Just that. There we go. Wait, no, that's iridite. Stop. Stop. Okay. So far, so identical. And... I forgot... Oh no, I forgot to connect the wires when I made this blueprint. Well, we're not sold on this being the version that we build. Maybe it's not that bad. Alright, so tentatively... Uh, those pipes are definitely not going to be there. Probably, actually. We're going to have... Actually, where is this going to go? We have to deal with sand. Oh, it recycles. But the net rate doesn't change with rate calculator, right? We get zero point... Uh, let's see. Two crushed iridite. Zero point six crushed iridite per second. Um, rate calculator does take all these things into account, though. So, crushed... Uh, so, iridite is going to recycle. That's going to be easy to deal with, with these big machines. We're just going to... Output iridite, like so. And considering the rate, uh, yeah, I'd be surprised if we even need any circuit logic on this, because inserters take turns since I don't know what version. Um, so if we've got an input over here for iridite, and we've got an input over here for iridite, uh, if they both have something to take from all the time, they'll take turns. So, considering that it's just the one resource that gets recycled, um, I don't think we're going to need to worry about that. We could do our inputs like this. What? And down here as well. Something like that anyway. I don't I think the blue belt is going to reach that. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, that makes it easier to be a bit neater here. And down here like so. So let's test this theory. We're going to just void everything 
except for the iridite. Give it some power. Uh, I'll just do a giant power pole until we've pretty much finalized the build. So we should find that we don't accumulate a whole lot of iridite, or any iridite actually, in these chests. Oh, this one got to five. It's back down to one. Got to six. Hmm. I can't quite tell. Oh, that got back to zero. That got back to zero. And that got back to zero. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, even without any circuit logic, to say, like, uh, if there's anything in this chest, don't pick up from the belt. Uh, that should be all it takes to do the recycling part for this one. Okay. So then we have to deal with... How much? Uh, a whopping 3.6 plus 1.2 crushed iridite and sand. I think it's safe to say we could put those things on one belt and then filter them. Uh, but we need to blacklist iridite. Or, I think it might be better illustrated what's going on here. If instead we whitelist um, crushed iridite and sand. Just so that at a glance we can tell... Uh, we get a hint as to what these things are doing. Why did I type sands? Cool. And then... Down here we need crushed iridite on one side. I think I'll put these over here, maybe. We need to put one thing on one side of the belt. Oops. And we need uh, iron exchange beads. Gotta get iron exchange beads coming down this way. So what does that look like? Plastic, vulcanite, steam, and sulfuric acid. So it's pretty much the same build, just a... Uh, different flavor. Yeah, it's literally the same, but with different inputs. Alright, cool. So, I think we copy this. And bring it over here. And... Oh, I think I included the super inserters with that blueprint as well. Whoopsie. 
Um, can we delete that? Delete that and put it back. Uh, okay, so we need vulcanite block and plastic, right? Yeah, plastic, vulcanite block. And it doesn't care what temperature the steam is. Different flavor? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this one's vulcanite block. Do those stack the same? Uh, cryonite rod and vulcanite block, that is. Where is it? Crinite rod? 200. I think vulcanite is 100. No, it's 200. Okay. So I can literally just swap out the symbol on this one. And... Cryonite, I mean, Vulcanite. Vulcanite block. And the other one was plastic. Actually copy paste that. Alright, cool. And we need some water. Uh, but not too much. I'm sure it's going to do the same thing where we get some water recycled, but it's going to be net negative. Water at exactly 80%. And the sulfuric acid. Yes, that'll be up here, I think. Oh. Wait, what? Bruh. The steam inputs on the right side on this one, and on the left side on this one. How dare you? Wait, that's still not right. Um, I think I would like this to go here. Okay, remove all the steam. Then... This would go here. Those are already connected. Wait, no, no, that's back up a sec. Steam needs to go here and over here. That's not right. How are we going to get the steam across? this one. Awkward. I know we can do this, I just don't want to. <laughs> uh. Okay, it'll... it'll have to do. At least this bit looks consistent, even if it's sort of misleading in that sense. Alright, so this one's gonna be sulfuric acid. And that's going to go here. And here. Uh, there's no consistency to the look of it, no matter what I do. Iridite processing is like the ugly cousin of holmium processing. Or like a misshapen imitation or something. Okay, so Vulcanite block, where are they? Oh, I didn't change this filter. Alright, so that's our beads. How many beads do we actually need, though? Uh, 
net rate is only 2.72 per second. It takes in 5. Point, uh, it, it takes in 8, but it spits out 5.2. And this one spits out exactly 50%. This one spits out the majority of the beads. Interesting. Two thirds. Okay, so what's our rate? Very, very slow. So I think what we'll do is output sand. And then just merge these like so. Perhaps. And the recycle of dirty iridium powder? Dirty iridium powder. Do you mean the dirty water from the iridium powder? Yeah, um, that'll be more or less the same as this, I think. Oh, did I... Yeah, the, the recycling of the anion beads here makes a vanishingly small difference. Um, I'm guessing it'll be about the same as this. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay then, let's move that over the tile, and I'm thinking something like this, perhaps. Although, in a sense, this is asymmetrical. We then want beads and dirty water to go to this. And can we do it with just one of these this time? No, we're net positive on dirty water. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like it. I think once again there's just going to have to be a little bit of this uh, iridium crushed, ir crushed iridite that just sits on the belt for all eternity. So then water is going to go back up this way or something. That's actually not quite convenient. That's not too bad. Okay, I might like where this part's going. Oh, that's even, that even reaches at max length. Yes, please. That could scarcely have been neater. I'll take it. Uh, is this supposed to be... No, it is not supposed to be. Oh, we need another fluid drop-off. Hmm. Technically, we can find a way for this to work. But... But yuck. Probably. That goes... 
here, I guess. Maybe down here as well. Yeah, we could do worse than that. It's actually fewer pipe sections um, to get from the pump to a nice big storage tank with this one. It does fit very snugly, I have to say. Okay, so we're going to have... What's it called again? Nitric acid. In this fluid network. And as for... Hydrogen chloride. Wait, where is that going? Oh, I see. Hydrogen chloride. Oh, that almost lines up well. Almost, but not quite. What about through here? I don't think I mind that. Could we do the same thing over here, sort of? Steel pipes? Oh, good point. Let's do that. That's a little bit better. And then down here... Uh, where should I... Probably like this, I guess. Uh, that kind of looks terrible. But what are you going to do? Actually, now that part's symmetrical. 10 out of 10. Calculated. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Alright, so now we need these outputs to go somewhere. Did I... This is all connected. Okay, cool. Beacons would go here and here. If we were to do low-level beacons. Um, so we have iridium powder. We still need this step. We're probably going to do the same thing that we did over here, basically. Seriously? Get out of here. Bop, indeed. Alright. So this is... Iridium Blast Cake. I don't think that's what we want to export, actually. Unless we... Maybe we want to export the powder and deal with that somewhere else. So powder only goes to blast cake, right? And blast cake has exactly one use. We need pyroflux. And 165 degrees steam. I don't think we want to do all of that here, probably. 
What's the stack size for this? 20? Ouch. Uh, maybe we want to export it as Iridium Powder instead. Iridium Powder. Stack size 30? That's very weird. Everything else is 50 or 100. Or 20. This is like almost as bad as Nacrotite. Uh, Naquim powder. What? What's okay? So stack size thirty for this, and stack size twenty for this. But four blast cake goes into one iridium powder. Oh no! Wait, no, I misread that. Twenty iridium powder goes to four blast cake, which is a pretty similar ratio. Uh, it's it's one to five as opposed to one to four. But we need enriched vulcanite, which is... Well, it goes here, doesn't it? How do we make the enriched vulcanite? I'm guessing it's not as simple as one solid in, one solid out. Vulcanite gives us stone, crushed vulcanite, and enriched vulcanite. And... We've got a coverex like thing over here. Sulfur, crushed vulcanite, and enriched vulcanite in. Sand, four times as much enriched vulcanite out, and crushed vulcanite out. We're definitely not doing that here. So I think we'll just export the iridium powder. Vulcanite coverex, indeed. Yeah, I think we're going to export the Iridium Powder. Um, we need another output station for... I guess it's just sand? There's no other byproduct that we have to deal with, other than the recycled stuff that we're already dealing with. Oh, what's our ratio for... We need 2.72 cadian ion beads per second and this is 10 I think that'll be enough uh, once again I'm not seeing the incentive to put these in the rail network I mean, it does get used for Naquium as well. What's the uh, Naquium powder? Wait, wait, wait. Naquium powder. There's a... A red beads version and a blue beads version. Is this going to be one of those things like the Arcospheres, where it switches recipe? Or do we just need, like, two types of recipe close to each other? Or just export it? Oh, good grief. Well, that's way too far ahead to plan for. I think for now we'll just not put these into the rail network. And we'll scale this back a bit. So that the ratio here is not as ridiculous. Okay, so net... 2.72. Uh, we literally just need three of these. That's so much less. Do four for the symmetry. Look at how much empty space there is. This was the more irritating, complicated build, but... Um, 
well, partly because we couldn't do this part here, we're ending up with something that's a lot... It's got a lot more empty space. Maybe I could try to find room for more pulverizers so we can actually keep up with this. Net four crushed iridite per second. We need seven. That's literally just one more. Except we need the input and output to find its way there somehow. Alright, I think that's enough design for the moment. Uh, let's take our pipes and our... We're still handcrafting the huge storage tanks? Wow. Okay. That's, um... That takes a minute if we're starting from steel plate. That looks like a nightmare, indeed. We need a whole bunch of pumps. Uh, I think we've got some on this planet already. But like, 50? Uh, yeah, we got 50. Well, that should be enough for this. I hope. Yeah, we actually need 35 pumps for this design, because we're using pumps instead of power switches to control the cracking. We just limit the uh, the flow of water to the chemical plants. Alright, give me my pumps. And I can't think what else I should be picking up. Logistic train stops. We're already queuing up handcrafting for that. We finally got our huge storage tanks. Can you believe it? I really should have set up a rail signal automation there. We finished loading this. Um, what else should we bring? May as well load it up with rail signals? They're so relatively easy to make on the spot, but... I don't want to spend too much time just sitting thinking about uh, what we could bring. Let's get some cliff explosives, just to be sure. Uh, maybe some more pump jacks. And a whole bunch. Okay, let, let's ask, let's ask our blueprint post thingy. How many signals is this? Uh, 507. And there's only two blocks so far. I wonder how many are just from this block here. Ha almost half of them. Kind of expected that. Alright, let's bring like 2,000 signals. We should probably bring, uh, signal transmitters. I'm sure we'll only need a few, if that. I think I already brought delivery cannon chests, but how about delivery cannons? Oh, we haven't actually queued those up. Uh, delivery can and chest. Where did we put the request? 
Here it is. And then I'm pretty sure we can make that without adding anything. Uh, what does it stack to? 20. That's a pretty good number. What goes into a delivery cannon? Let's check. Uh, nothing we don't already have in the buffer chest. Clip explosives, big electric motors, and blue and red circuits. Concrete and batteries are my usual go-to for spare space on a cargo rocket. Yeah, we've got all of those already, but um, more couldn't hurt too much. Oh, um... I think I'd just rather make these when I realize I need them. If I realize I need them. These are occasional plants. More train stops? Definitely. Let's bring like 60... Oh, they stuck to 10. 50 train stops. Logistic. I'm sure that'll be enough. Need atmospheric condensers for solid rocket fuel? Are atmospheric condensers that hard to make? I guess we need a bunch of them. Oh. They're a little bit of a nuisance. Yeah, what do they stack to? 25. Sure, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, we probably should go by this block here. Okay, two stacks of atmospheric condensers. Why does that always happen? There we go. Atmospheric condenser. 50. And... Belts, maybe? Belts wouldn't hurt. I'd rather have too many belts than not enough. Why don't we copy this and then crank up these numbers a bit? Some storage tanks? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Especially the big ones. The large storage tanks I don't use that much, and they're pretty easy to make. But, um... I know I'm overcompensating for what just happened, but I don't feel like I'm going to regret bringing five stacks of huge storage tanks. Alright, we'll let them catch up with that. Uh, looks like we've built this. Fantastic. And we need to... I don't really want to start handcrafting um, the oil pump jacks. I think I'd rather fill up that rocket and send it Of course, we're picking up a million rocks. Oh, no, stop, stop, stop. Did I leave items on the ground? Nope. That looked like a little red cross. Ouch. Oh, don't tell me. There was, a, there was at least one huge storage tank down here the whole time. Roboports and more bots. I think I've already 
got that in here. Uh, not the robopods, though. Okay. Good call, robopods. I'm surprised. I thought I had. I thought I remembered typing that in. Uh, robopod stacks to twenty, doesn't it? No, ten. I'm sure twenty robopods will be enough. Pick this up again. Oh, that's a cliff. Well. Rip cliff. I would send water ice, but I've already got a rocket that's literally full of water ice waiting to come here. Speaking of which, let's make a little pickup for it. Let's double check that would be in the middle if we had a block here. Wait, what? Oh, this goes here. Yeah, that's good. Signals will go here eventually. Uh, we'll do it like this. I'm pretty sure if we have a... Just empty this. So close. Whoa. Uh, now we have chain signals, and we're probably going to get a random no path if we put a train somewhere, because there's like one signal placed and one signal not. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no way to place, yeah, no way to place this cargo landing pad so that these two will take from it directly. That does not fit very conveniently. I kind of wish there was a one by one splitter. Mm. We'll do it. You know what? Overall consumption of ice is going to be pretty slow anyway. I think this is fine. And probably don't need to even be thinking about what size train picks this up, but whatever. Why is that building over the rail like that? It is called a bulk rail loader. Um, I guess it drops the resources into the cargo wagon. Don't really need to read what's in here. This is a pickup station for water ice. Wait, that's not right. We only need to, we don't strictly need to, but we only need to put that symbol there. And why don't we just send out ice now? I'm going to cancel this request. Oh, too late. I shouldn't have done that. Um, because, yeah, this is going to consistently send ice to... What was the planet called again? Uranus.
Grenness. But let me name this cargo landing pad first. Uh, water, ice, landing pad. I feel I should just call it water, ice. Actually, can I give it the symbol? Oh, I can. Fantastic. I don't think we were able to do that last time. Very cool, indeed. Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay. And then back to here. We're going to... Grenis. I could have figured that out from the hierarchy here. With the solar system. Target is water ice. Launch trigger is launch on cargo full. And that will implicitly not launch. Oh, I forgot. Oh no. Oh no. We're going to have to move this. Uh, it's It'll implicitly not launch unless this uh, cargo landing pad is empty. Uh, but yeah, I sort of forgot the minor detail of having to deal with the products other than water ice. So we're going to output everything else to here. I think the no nuke scorch marks mod is bugged. In my world, it still creates craters and marks. Oh. I don't think I even tested it. I sort of expected something as simple like that to just work. Uh, let's see. We need just enough room for a shorty. And we're going to have a bulk rail unloader. No, wait, it's a loader. That looks weird, but I'm pretty sure that's right. And here we're going to have a filter inserter, blacklist, water, ice. Yes, red belt should be fine here. Oh, I forgot I'm out of undergrounds for red belt. Alright, that's not actually an LTN stop. This is going to be a vanilla train stop. Did I... I think I used up all the vanilla train stops I had because they're ingredients for logistic train stops. So we need iron, steel, and copper. Or rather, this will do. Where'd my steel go? Uh-oh. Well, there's definitely... Oh, wow, that's it? Okay. Okay, we know what else we're sending. Uh, let's say 5k steel. Possibly more than that. Can't believe how low we got on steel already. I installed a different mod that allows you to remove them manually. Interesting. You didn't have both at the same time, right? I'm guessing. Uh-oh, where did my stacks go? What was I trying to make? Oh, a regular train stop. So this is going to be the same as this one. Uh, 
vanilla train stop called Return to Mall. Basically, whatever gets put in here, a vanilla train will come and get it as soon as there's something in the bulk rail loader. And it's scheduled to take it back to the mall. Alright, let's get some... Power poles. That's a good fit. And over here as well. One off. So that's going to be all of our cargo rocket sections and space capsule. We are eventually going to have to send them back. This is surprisingly slow. I'm not used to inserters anymore. Uh, how many stacks is there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, go back here. Turn off the auto launch. Not that it's going to launch. Uh, it is going to launch surprisingly quickly. Um, how many stacks is this? 610, 640. If I get rid of that. We should be able to empty this, and then I would like to move it uh, down one tile so we can use loaders. Currently both are active. Indeed. Okay. Um, I think we're going to move all of this down a time. It's taking longer than expected. I mean, it is a lot of ice. I, I do get that. Bring that down one tile, and we can casually have zero electricity, 45 items per second. Uh, we can put a uh, we can put a whitelist filter on express loaders that take from, but not filters that put things in. All right. So then, put this back. And reactivate automatic supply of ice. Oh, I just realized, I don't think we have automatic supply of the space capsules up here. But we could definitely arrange it. What even is this circuitry I put here? Set filters, whitelist, contents of this time's negative one, stuff that we want in the chest. That makes sense. Can we use a short train? Because we don't actually have uh, fast inserters being put into the rail network. Except that everything in this uh, RoboPort, Robo Network, is offered to LTN via short train. And that would include the space capsule as well. Except we don't want space capsules in here. We want them way up here. Uh, can we maybe get the construction train to pay this a visit? How about this? Um, 
I'm just going to set this to a condition that's not going to be met, because I don't want to have to hurry here. There's a good chance that other mod creates its own removable marks that are not affected by the no nuke scorch marks mod. Like it removed the vanilla marks and replaced it. Plausible, I guess. Um, okay. I can't actually seed this with logistic bots remotely. So I guess we're using belts. Uh, if we use belts... No, 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 no. That's going to be so many uh, space capsules. I think we'll just survive on the ice that we've got so far. Um, yeah, I think we'll just not worry about that for now. And I'll build a proper block that we can copy-paste later for um, cargo rockets. Okay. Also, this is called Granis Landing Pad now. There we go. Okay. Uh, we need... Wait a sec. Is there a universe where I want to transport the ice itself somewhere? Or do I just want the water? I think I just want the water. Just a guess since it looks like RoboPorts and Radars Mark II mod does that. Actually, I just realized ice is way more stack, uh, way more dense. Sorry, I cut myself off halfway through that. RoboPorts and Radars Mark II mod. Just a guess since that's... yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there are certain limitations with mods. Um, you have to, you generally sort of have to work with like overriding existing assets with some games, for example. It varies. Um, yeah, if this doesn't need water that fast, or forty per second. I could have it drop off ice like this and then melt it on the spot. Are we going to do any builds on this planet that are really thirsty for water? I can't actually think of any that I would. It's all just so that we can get liquid rocket fuel. And, and I want to keep, like, what we do here to a minimum, basically. So I th think my instinct was right before that we actually want to melt this on the spot and have a, have a fluid wagon pick it up. And if we were going to use nuclear power, it would be with steam, uh, not steam turbines, but condenser turbines, which are going to consume water very slowly overall. Oil production is going to consume it a lot faster, and it's quite slow. Alright. Um, I need to make some room in my inventory so I can move this stuff. quicker than expected. And there it is. Okay. What the... 
Not enough rail. Oh. That makes sense, I guess. Alright, how about a huge storage tank? Uh, we need to move this. Mm. 99,000. 495 stacks, that's like 11 chests. That's not what I meant to do. There we go. Uh, I think we need more chest. Too fast. Oh right, this is this was the setting I had when I was using it to drop ammo into gun turrets. Kind of important to be quick there. All right, so we're gonna have a huge storage tank so that one big container can go straight to the trains. With zero pipe in between. And then we're going to have a cargo landing pad. Wait, wait, wait. Which device are we going to use to melt the ice? Let's see. Electric boiler or chemical plant? Um, it looks like they have the same crafting speed. Wait, really? That, wait, that doesn't sound right. Electric boiler uses 5.17 megawatts. Crafting speed 1. Min consumption is al almost as high as the max consumption of the chemical plant. Is this really correct? Chemical plant... Uh, water. And boiler. We used the boiler in space to melt the ice. Um, but that was a lot more compact and easy and probably less power hungry than the giant space chemical plant. Let's see. I... I don't believe it. <laughs> so these are exactly as fast as each other. The only advantage this one has is that it's smaller. Uh, electricity. 217 kilowatts. 5... 5.167 megawatts. Can't put modules in it though. Yeah, it's it's literally worse in every way except for it's six it's one third smaller. You can do this in space though. Is the the one big advantage of this. Okay, good to know. Let's use a chemical plant in that case. Water ice. Wait, what? Oh, am I... Dup. There we go. Water, ice to water. And then... How fast does this consume? Uh, four per second. We can do that with a stack inserter. doesn't need a filter because it's going straight to a machine. Cool. And then this needs connection, which means something like this. Really? Oh, I know what I can do. Be 
behold. That is the power of even distribution, if you know a trick or two. Just limit the chests to zero and even distribute over all of these chests. We just moved a uh, hundred thousand ice. Genius. I don't know about that, but thank you. Robot Wars, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I thought you were under the impression the boiler was better. Yeah, I might have... Maybe I misspoke or something. Or just pointed at the wrong thing at the wrong time. Uh, Inri Inri, welcome, welcome. Also, Night Dancer, good to see you again. Wrong direction for the belt and inserter. Uh, no, this is a blacklist. So everything but water ice um, goes to here. It's interesting the boiler is so much worse. It does work in space, though. That's, that's pretty big. Uh, last playthrough without K2 and or on the last version. Um, if we wanted to simply melt ice in space, we needed one of these. It's a little bit bigger, and its max consumption is comparable to this as well, 3.1 megawatts. But faster, I guess. Faster is not much of a consolation when you don't need to go that fast and you are wanting to cram it onto a spaceship. Because the storage density of ice is so much higher. Okay, um, can we get some wagons? I mean... We're not going to use them until we have signals, but we may as well make a start. Where? Oh, they're in my inventory already. That might help. Alright, LCCL. LFFL. I forgot I wanted to color code the construction train. Probably yellow, well, probably like a orange, if we can. So I think that means more red. That's such a dark orange. Hmm. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. I'm lying, it's bad. There's only so much you can do with the color picker for Factorio. It, it wants, like, dull industrial colors and stuff. Okay. Uh, let's get some solid rocket fuel in here. We're short one locomotive. We need multi-cylinders. I don't think I sent those. Oh, I did. Thank goodness for that. And it takes a whole minute to handcraft this. Alright, I think uh, that'll do it for today, though. Let's see who's streaming Factorio. And... Maybe I'll do a little bit of this off stream, just the stuff that is purely takes a little bit of time and we're not sort of doing anything new. Uh, if I have time. Okay. Let's have a look at who's playing what. We got some Crestorio 2 SpaceX. Might be good. Bye. Take care, Night Dancer. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, 
Oh, I should have checked first. Let me make sure people can chat in here and stuff. All right, cool. I enjoyed my stay. Thank you. Glad you, uh, glad to hear it. Zaiden, take care. Uh, Ezric, thanks for stopping by. And everyone else as well. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And tomorrow... Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing a bit more Terraria. Uh, we're doing the Don't Dig Up seed. And last time I got one shot by a falling star. So that was fun. Alright, take care guys. What was that? Why did that happen? Hey, good morning, Tyrannosaurus. How are you doing? A uh, hundred and twenty? <laughs> I...